uh, this morning's meeting of the City of Syracuse Board of Assessment Review. Uh, today is Wednesday, February 15th. Uh, it is 9.05 a.m. And uh, let's have a roll call. Michael Davies. Carl Masterpool. Joe Seha. Chuck Fahey. Sue Straub. Okay. And uh, so with that, we've got the one property here. Uh, first, uh, 146 Dorwin Ave. If you want to come on right up here. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. How's everybody? Good. 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 Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to swear you in. Let's see. We got okay. We've got that uh, mic there. Uh, if you want to pull that over towards you a little bit more. Okay. Sure. 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 Okay. You're good. Yeah. That's fine. I'll put that back a little bit. Okay. So uh, one property, 146 door, one have. Let me swear you in. If you could raise your right hand. State your name for the record. Lorraine J. Cotta. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes. Okay. So. Let me just read this in 146 Dorwin Ave. This is a one-family home. Uh, current tenant of assessment of seventy-seven thousand five hundred, uh, with a land value of eighteen thousand seven hundred. That would bring the market value to proposed one hundred twenty thousand one fifty-five. And then we have petitioner's estimate of fair market value, 120155 That's what you guys have down. Yes, I would like it at one fifteen. If that's Is that what you mean? I'm so uh, sorry. I'm not at this. That's okay. I see what you did here. Yeah, okay. What, what, uh, what do you think your property is worth? I think it's actually even worth less than 115. Just give us a figure. Whatever okay. you think it's worth. <laughs> I fine. believe it, it would be worth, let's see. Um, Take it would time. be one, 114. I would have to say, really, I'm asking for a thousand more okay. than that. So I would have to say 114 is definitely what I would like out of you folks if is, I can get it. Is that what you think the property is oh, yeah, worth? Oh, yeah, definitely worth that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Okay, $114,000. Okay, I'm just going to have you initial that, if you would. Absolutely. You had the 122, um, and that was, that's fine, but that was for, uh, that was what the 77.5 assessed value would equate to on a market value basis. Okay. okay. And that's fine. Okay. Uh, we just want to make sure we're on the same page. Sure. So 114 is what the petitioner feels that the property is worth. And then if that's the case, I just need to get uh, an approximate assessed value on this. Seventy three five thirty. Seventy three five thirty. Okay. So let me turn it over to you and and uh, oh. I, I did you submit these packets? Yes, I okay. did. Yeah. All right, and it has a bunch of information in them. Yeah, and I'm only gonna do three, you know, because I don't want to get all wordy and everything and I'm not good at it. First, I'm going to start with one that just sold in November down the street from me, 131 Dorwin. Um, it actually sold for 117.5. It is a little bit bigger than my house, and it actually has one more 
bathroom than mine. I only have one bath in mine. They have two. Um, and then I would like to go across the street to Maria's house at 145 Dorwin. She has four bedrooms, one and a half bath, and she was assessed, uh, assessed at 118.6, which I don't understand. She's got a beautiful house, so. Okay, now now let's just make sure that, and again, I'm not disputing what no. you're saying. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. So she was assessed at 118. Mm -hmm. So that that's that's like your assessed value. I want to make sure we're on the same page. Yes, please. That's like your assessed value of 77.5. No, I'm sorry. That is the assessed value of the whole thing where mine is 120. Um, Okay, so her market value. I'm sorry. Is yes, that's what I've been going on for. Yeah. All right, that's, oh, your, I'm sorry. that's your first mistake. You only get three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then, man, what happens? Then? We are keeping track. You are the okay. File wow. Blows up, and that's the end of that. Trap door open. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Well, and that's what I did do, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I did it with all of them. I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. It's all right. You don't okay. know what you're doing. It's all right. Okay. You've okay. already so. told us you don't know what you're doing, so that's fine. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Well, it's fine. <laughs> I, you know what? I, right I've there. always tried. I've always tried, and that's probably just, what just, a lot of people love me for. Yeah. Said I never. I'll, I'll try, at least. So, okay. So, that's one that's sold. Um, right, I did one so. that's sold, and I'd like to... And once again, I probably have not done this right. So down at 117 Dorwin, I feel is pretty close to me, okay? Uh -huh. um, it's uh, 1432 square feet, three bedroom, one bath, like my house. Um, and that was only assessed at, and I'm rounding up, 14, 114,000. Okay, so the, so the market value, 114. Let's go back to the 118 for a second. Mm -hmm. um, did that property sell? No, I'm sorry. I was looking at it with other people's what we're assessed at, or what I thought was, but it's the property now. Okay, so, so 118, uh, what's the address of that one? That's 145, right across the street, I'm 146. And, and, and that's a much larger house. Oh yeah, yours. oh and much. Tell, tell us about your house a little oh, bit. My house, um, well, it was my grandmother's. I um, moved there, <coughs> and the truth is, and I'm not gonna lie, my husband worked for the city for almost 40 years, and when I married him, I love him, um, I grew up in North, North Syracuse, and then all of a sudden something passed where we have to live in the city if he wants to work for, for the city. And I said, well, this is your job. You've been doing it since you were 18 years old, and you're 20, I think we, we got married when we were 25, 26. We looked for a house, and we were lucky enough that my grand, well, no, not lucky, my grandma had passed, and my mother offered us the house. She was leasing it out, and they were having problems with tenants, and the neighbors were complaining. So it, it, it had been a little trashed a little from the tenants and I um, bought it from her and we have been, we still, it's a work in progress, but it's something that um, at first it was my grandmother's and it felt like my grandmother's house. Now it's Bob's and my house. I love it. I do. And I, I got to be honest, I never thought I would want to live in the city. I didn't enjoy it at first. And this, that side of the city scared me. From look at North Syracuse, we're talking out by Hiller Heights, and uh, I like it. I, I'm glad I did. I learned a lot about the community and about types of people, even poverty. I hate to say it. I see kids. It's so sad. Um, yeah, is, that okay. is that what you wanted to hear from me? I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Did oh, I fix up fine. the house? Yes, I did. Um, I share a driver with the neighbors next door. Wonderful people. Just left for Florida. Okay, so your house has a shared driveway. Oh, yeah. That's good yeah. to know. Yeah, we have a shared uh, driveway. Um, how many bedrooms, how many baths, or um, one bathroom said? One bath, three bedroom, um, nice little kitchen with a dining room, a living room, one burner doodle with us. Um, <laughs> and like I said, my and just me and my husband, we were not blessed to be able to have kids, but that's okay because I got lucky with them. I really did. And like I said, he, he worked hard hard and finally i think it was around the pandemic you guys offered him retirement and it was, and you guys were fair i mean i don't know what can't department did he work for what, what, a burner department? Department? What, no, department? what department he worked for the city of syracuse dpw he started off in sewers then he went to street repair then he went back to sewers and um in the end because he had a back injury you know his back wasn't great he couldn't plow anymore um 
he ended up doing the one sewer where you go house to house and like he he'll, he would do the plunging. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. right. that's what he did. Yeah. The so 40 years for the city. That's yeah. Oh. Thank, thank him for his service. I'm very lucky. Let me tell you, um, he's the better half. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, and I know a lot of people don't, but he is. He's so kind. So oh, we okay. are at two minutes. Brag. Two minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So I think we have. Uh, enough information. Uh, let's go over to Mr. Fall. So uh, I guess I, I don't want to intimidate anybody or cause any issues. <laughs> this assessment wasn't changed this year. It was changed in 19. Um, the property, um, it, we're, we're not, we're, we are so close on, uh, our, the current assessed value is reflects a market value of $119,000. And we haven't been in the house. You know, um, I have sales that will support a higher number, but you know, uh, I'm gonna let you guys make your decisions. I'll give you my comparable sales. Okay. So the, and, and yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. You're at 77.5, she's at 73.530. Right, and we write on those numbers. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, you're not being unreasonable. Um, I'm not saying that we're making any decisions here, today. Part of that not. too. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, but uh, what happens is we take the information that you give us, we take the information that the city gives us, and then we deliberate uh, offline, if you will, mm -hmm. and uh, make a decision, which we will come back and report publicly. Um, but uh, the point is that. Um, you know, you made a good presentation. We appreciate what your husband did for the city. Oh, yeah. And um, he appreciates, uh, I appreciate you guys giving him the job. So. Yeah, no, that's, no. It's, <clears throat> you should stop talking. You're doing, you did good. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, uh, you're in good shape and. Uh, We'll make a decision and uh, send you a notice first oh, is that week how of it April. Works? Okay. Yeah, right. first week of April, and then this will take effect. Just so you know, uh, with the city and school taxes for uh, July first and going forward. Okay. And then Onondaga County, uh, the new assessment will start for tax purposes on uh, January first of next year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that. everything will stay the same until July first. First, and I'll know then. If You'll know in April. Okay. Okay, what yeah. transpired today? Okay. Can can I ask one last question? Yeah, sure. Your husband, did you marry much older than you? Little. Doesn't matter. Is he yeah, over is he over 65 years of age? No, he's not yet. No. Okay. Cuz when he becomes 65, depending on your your you're entitled to there's a uh, enhanced star. She has a star on her property right now, Joe. Now. So it will, I believe, does it not say that on her, on the each screen uh, I gave no, you? No, it says star. It does. So that you can upgrade that star to uh, uh, an enhanced star. That would give you an additional savings off of the city and school tax bill only. Oh. And, and it would increase your tax savings by about $530 more. Okay. Now, uh, since he is older than me, you know, a little older than me, so it's only if he is, even though both of our names, it doesn't have to be both, both of your us. names, you're married to him. He's going to hit 65 first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Point being that then, you know, you don't have to wait for you to be 65. You can immediately apply okay, for that Okay, thank you start. for explaining that. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. So, so all Mr. Fole was trying to say is that there'll be an increased uh, savings when he's 65. When he's 65. But you have to apply yeah, for it. You've got to come into our office and apply for the exemption. Um, okay. It doesn't automatically happen. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. So you yes. want to make a note. The year that he's going to be 65, make come, sure in and I come in and apply for it. Or he does. The only reason I ask none of my businesses is how old you guys are. But that's a factor. 65 is the is the age, and the fact that he was, is able to retire before 65, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, let me tell you, you guys, you know, like I said, you guys said, well, he was one of the tiers that you would like, oh, so you took it. 
and yeah. for somebody else to be able to. The city. Yeah. The, the, that's the, yeah, that has nothing to do with us. Right. Yeah. I mean, right here. So. Yeah, uh, but no, that's that's good. Okay. And uh, so uh, just try to remember that. And um, uh, and then the she has to wait until he's 65. The, 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 year, year. the year that he's going to be 65, as long as he's 65 during the year that so they, I'm going to be can. I'm going to be 65 this year. So I could I, I I can apply or I actually because of the, I have the new star program I moved and I'm on the new star program. I don't get that savings. I'm going to get a check as long as my income does not exceed and that, that's the other thing. Your income cannot exceed 93,200. So, you know, uh, my wife's retired and my salary does not no, hit that, definitely. but maybe with her retirement, it might, it might be over. So I may not qualify for the enhanced star, but it is income based okay. and age based. Okay. That won't be a problem then. Thank you. You look like you were turning 70, but uh, I feel that after yesterday, I feel like I, I went, to, went, went to battle with Mike Tyson. <laughs> yes. If you did, you wouldn't be here today. <laughs> I still got my 80-year-old buddy in so oh. good shape. He's not, he's not 80. <laughs> not even close to 80. He just yeah, loves to I, I'm, I'm He right. pokes at everybody. Big, big, okay. Big Chad, he's yeah. big Chad Nate. Really? Okay. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. A, Let me start. take him out in the hall, don't you? He's my, <laughs> he's my hip man. Chuck, you can talk to the judge and see if there's such thing called age discrimination. That's right. That's, That's right. right. But believe me, I am not 80. No. Yes. no. No, no, no. I can tell you're sharp too, though. I was watching you. You're sharp. He's a spry 35 years old. <laughs> so am I. That, yes. He had that thank warm you. milk, and that's why he looks like he does. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thank you very much thank for you. coming. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather. First week of uh, April. Okay, first week. I'll look forward to it. Right behind you. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. That looks good there. I'm on fire. It's this weather. It's got everybody going. Who is? Yeah. yeah. I got socks that are 31 years old. <laughs> he goes by dog years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 170 Surowin Road. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> this, this, oh, this can, the sideshow cost extra, you know. So <laughs> you've got to really put on a good presentation today. I, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. I'll swear you both in. You don't both have to speak if you don't want to. No, no worries. Um, so 170 Surowin Road. Yes. Okay. If you can both raise your right hands, state your name for the record. Do you both swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Creator. Yes. Okay. Creator. Very good. Um, okay. So once again, 170 Surowin Road. Um, just a, a digress for a second here. I'm trying to fill in the correct assessment on uh, the last one. It was at 73? 350. I'm saying 530. 73, 530. 73, 530. Right. You didn't take your dyslexia pills? No. Uh, okay. So, this is a one family old style home. Current tenant of assessed value of. Uh, Sixty three thousand. So what do you have there? I have eighty five thousand. His current assessment is eighty five thousand. Okay. So you would put down sixty. That's a tentative. That's a tentative. It's not what you it was sixty three before. Okay, it was sixty three. Yeah. All right. So tentative now is eighty five thousand. I just have to make sure the numbers are correct on the paper. Uh, with a land value of 14200 Ed? That's correct. Okay. Um, so, 
the equatable market value on 85,000 is 131,783. 131,783. Now you believe your property is worth 91,304. Is that what I put? That's what you put. However, you had the old assessment on it. So I just want to make sure that that's what you're you're looking for. You can change it. Uh, I'm not trying to get you to change anything. I just want to make sure we're on the same so page. So we're talking assessment numbers and not full market value? We're talking both. Okay. My question to you and the question on the uh, uh, application was your estimate of fair market value. So what do you think your property is worth? Um, 91000 Okay, so you had that right. 91304 is what you think you could sell your property for. <coughs> Perfect. The form, for whatever reason, is confusing, and yes, it is. We just we just want to make sure. Uh, you could have someone look at that form. <laughs> I asked for years. It's I've asked the state to. You, the state. Well, I haven't asked the state personally, but I've mentioned uh, for whatever reason. I mean, I know what it says, but it it jumps back and forth, and it's a little it's confusing right. to someone who doesn't understand yeah. necessarily. And that's why we make sure we're on the same page. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Uh, you were going to say something, Ed? No, the, there's nobody, including my department, that likes it. It's a state form, and uh, unfortunately, uh, state doesn't listen to cities. So, I mean, that's every municipality has that, that form. Uh, this state wouldn't listen to it. <laughs> no. Yeah, right, right. Uh, let me get the uh, assessed value. Yeah, okay. 58891. Okay. 58891. 58891 is the, uh, these are just for our purposes. Okay. Uh, 58,891 is the equatable assessed value based on your market value of 91,304. <coughs> and then claim full market value 91,304. Okay. Um, did you have a question or? No. Yeah, we're just uh, uh, getting the mm -hmm. uh, correct assessed values and market values for both the city and for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just uh, come through real quick here. See if we have it. How long have you lived in this property? Uh, 25 okay, years. So it was a long time uh, purchase. Uh, so we don't worry about the purchase price. Okay, let me turn it over to you and uh, see what you have to say. I think previous numbers have been established assuming the second floor of our structure is finished and occupied when in fact it is not. Okay. As the pictures demonstrate, it is subflooring, it is rafters, it, you see the backboard of the roof. There's electrical, but that's it. What makes you think that uh, uh, it's being included in the uh, finished it, assessment? It, it absolutely is. It absolutely was. Oh, okay. I, I, I spoke to the woman. I'm going to make it. Uh, it she's got a case. I mean, it's, it's not, you know, typically the, the second floor of a house like that is finished. There's no way for us to tell one way or the other without going in. Without going in. Okay. Um, I mean, our inventory w was incorrect. I've asked, and, and as I promised, I had the assessment, the, the square footage, to not include the second floor. Here's the issue that becomes the snafu, the tricky part is, and I don't, I'm not saying that either one of you would do this, but we found it in the past that the attic all of a sudden becomes living area, you know, and, and you know, so. What's what your plan? 
not to do that. No, we after 25 years, yeah, if, if, if we, we haven't we done it, it then kids. Right. there is no need to for us. So we treat it, it and it is a, a one family, two people occupancy. Yeah. So That's chances it. are, the yeah, yeah I don't see a, you know, a truck showing up there next week and going to town so, and what have you. And we have family members say, oh, you can do this. No, we don't need to do that. We're, we've got one floor. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's not. A, no, I, I don't have any issues with that. And if you do that, you'll start having a lot of visitors. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a hotel. There's a long, long joking aside. That's why the guest room has a lumpy bed. <laughs> All right. So, so, so what? I, I I reviewed the area. As I'm sure they probably talked to their neighbors. Many, not everybody, but many of the of their neighbors. I went all the way up and down Sirwin this year. The, the area hadn't been looked in, at in several years. Um, and it was undervalued um, by a lot, especially after the last few years, the market has been, the, the Valley area has been on fire as far as what people are selling their properties for. I did reduce the, we originally had a square footage on this property. I got it somewhere. Bear with me a moment. We had the property at 1,638 square feet. I, I removed the second floor because I, she brought in pictures and showed me. Uh, and we now have a square footage on the building. And, and I, based on that 1,682 square foot, I raised the assessment $22,000 on the property. Based on the facts that they presented, I revised my opinion. I believe that, um, that the property, and they may not, they'd have to test the market or get maybe go talk to a couple of realtors. I believe that if they were to put the market on the mark, uh, uh, the property on the market, they could get $121,000 for it. And um, that would equate to a assessed value of about $78,000. Okay, so you're recommending, so. That's my he's recommendation. Re he's recommending uh, he, instead of an assessed value of 85,000, he's recommending an, an assessed value of 78,000. Now that's what he's recommending. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to take, you know, the information that you gave us, plus his comps, and then we'll analyze and make a further decision. So um, we we could stay at the 85, which I don't think we would do. Uh, we could come down to the 78 in agreement with the city assessor. We can. Uh, even go lower. We have a range of eighty-five to fifty-eight thousand, right? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, we have a range of eighty-five thousand, which is where the city started out at. Two-minute warning. Yep, yeah, fifty-eight thousand eight ninety-one, okay. which is what you're requesting. <clears throat> so it'll be somewhere in there, um, but we don't never make quick decisions because we've got to review stuff. Uh, but the city, so the the worst case scenario. Uh, is 85,000, but now for all intents and purposes, it's 78,000, you know, because we value um, uh, Ed's recommendation, of course, um, even though he's turning 70, but you know. Put, put, now, let me ask you the same question I asked the people before you. I, got, I handed in the file. Okay. Are you over 65 years of oh, age? Gotcha. Have you applied for. for yeah, I would recommend that you Absolutely. go downstairs you're go, it, to my office, ask for a an enhanced <coughs> our, enhanced <coughs> our application. Okay, it's based on income. You can't make more than ninety three thousand two hundred dollars. And That's so, awesome though, because uh, what did you give them an approximate savings. It's gonna be you're, you're gonna go from a four hundred dollars savings to a nine hundred and fifty three dollars wow. savings. Off the city and school tax bill, county tax does not affect your county tax bill, but it's a nice savings. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
five hundred bucks. Yeah, that's good. You're ahead already. You, yeah, you, know, you have to. Plus with the, uh, uh, what was the assessed value? Sixty-three. Yes. So it might, you know. It's going to probably be. A, you're probably not going to notice any difference. Yeah, but it, it might be a wash, but you know, that's better than a sharp stick in the eye. You know, as far as uh, getting hit with the raised assessment mm -hmm. which you know seems reasonable but when was the last time it was assessed it had been years yeah. it'd been so years. you know you, you probably have been paid what i try to tell people is try to take some solace in the fact that you probably were paying a you know an under assessment for a while <laughs> we have been overpaying yes well underpaying is what i'm getting underpaying because for taxes because you oh, had, I, I yeah, okay. because you had a lower you. assessment than probably the property was worth type thing. It's okay. um, so in that regard you know uh, you know you, you, you did good and then uh, with this increase of the star but probable increase in the assessed value from what it was uh, you know it might be a wash so you know, but uh, your office it's downstairs in room 130. You want to you want to stop home and get your your 2021 income tax return. So because we have to, it is income based, and we bring in your license. It won't take you more than five ten minutes at the most to fill out the application, and and when you get your tax bill, as long as you qualify, you will be happy with what you did. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. You don't have to do it today. Because I don't think it takes effect until July. It anyway. doesn't take, but they do have to do it before the board convenes. If you wait three weeks, you're you're going to wait have to wait till next week to. Well, we can, we can get the form today. Yes, you can go downstairs and pick up the form on your way out the door. Oh, okay, and then come back with the tax return. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Just to, just ask a question: Can they scan copies of things and mail it in, or do they? No, have to you have to have original signatures, okay. and the, and that exemption. Well, there is this, I, 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 I'm not going to have no idea what kind of income you people fall under. There is a second senior citizen's exemption that applies to people for you, but that, that ceiling is uh, 37004 right now. That would save you additional money if your income, if you fell into, you know, below 37.4, you would get a percentage off the assessed value. Uh, both of those things are, are certainly geared towards elderly people not the 65 or is elderly but uh you know retired people and things like that or don't let don't pay attention to this guy over here he's exactly. gonna pick on somebody <laughs> how do you mean me <laughs> uh, we're, done. we're done with you today so you can ask for both you can ask for both if you think that you're going to qualify for both that ceiling for the senior citizens exemption next year is likely to go up so maybe if you don't qualify this year and you may qualify next year you may want to call towards the end of end of july beginning of august and ask about the senior citizens exemption you're welcome try to be fair with people schedule or just have a you know okay. process without them but they have not okay hold on, hold on one second let me just okay. finish up with these guys thank you very much for coming in uh it was definitely well worth it you know some numbers are going to be moved around but i think you'll be satisfied with the result and uh uh when everything shakes out we'll send you a letter first week of april uh with the new assessed value that will take effect July 1st for city and school, uh, January 1st for Onondaga County. Yeah, and, but the, the, the star, you got to. You the know, enhanced star will only affect city and school. The senior would affect both the city, so school, and county. Okay. And that's the income difference. Yes, that's a, we're looking for 2021 income. Okay. Great, thank you so much. Thanks for coming up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you think about it, Childhood cancer research. Oh, Just get out of the way. over that. St. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. My son, yep, my son is a two-time leukemia perfect. survivor. You want to have a seat? And he Present. has done a lot uh, with St. Only one person His needs to sign. Jared Saya. Okay. And I'll he's done a that. lot. Yeah. It's we, my 17th year. Do you get your head shaved? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll come down. When is it? April 2nd. Palm Sunday.
Okay, we usually we usually come down when we're in town, and I'll remind my wife. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of friends that do that, and now we yeah. got another one. Thank you. We'll be looking for you. Yeah, Thank sure. you. Definitely. Definitely. Very good. Yeah, you so Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Go Fins. <laughs> Go Fins. You have a great day. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh no, it's fine. So, yeah, I, I called enough to message yesterday to find out if they wanted to reschedule or if they just wanted to drive in, um, but I haven't heard back, so. Okay, so. You want to wait? Yeah, I think we should wait till read it in at the end today. At the end today? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the Perfect. way to go. And they are here. It's the 941. Okay. And I'll go over the 921 with you later. Okay, very yeah. good. Very good, Ed. We've got uh, 109 Hawthorne Street. Uh, yeah. Have a seat. I think that's Tom. Oh, I got no. I got that one too. Sorry. Okay. How are you today? Good. 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 Uh, good. Yes. I'll uh, just give me one second here, just to uh, uh, do some housekeeping. All right, so Dorwin was one for our purposes, Sirwin two, uh, Hawthorne be three for our purposes. Okay, so you're here for one property, 109 Hawthorne Street. Okay, so if I could just swear you in, if you could raise your right hands. State your name for the record. Laura Buenaventura Navarrete. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, so we've got 109 Hawthorne Street. Let me just read in some information, and then uh, and then we'll ask you some questions. This is a one-family house. This is where you live? One-family house, yes. Okay. So I have a current tentative assessment of $99,225 with uh, a land value of $7,800. Now, yeah. All right, now the, the add just to confirm that 99,225 is the full market value. The, the new tentative assessment is 64,000. That's correct. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, this is not my area, but it, it appears to be correct. Okay. Yes. Actually, yeah, 64 is what it looks like. Yes. All right. It went from 48 to, to 64. Okay. Okay. And then you believe your property is worth eighty thousand dollars? That correct? Okay. So the assessed value on uh, eighty thousand I have is fifty one thousand six hundred. As Ed said, this was an increase in assessed value. Uh, looks like they purchased the property for fifty-eight thousand five hundred on August twenty-seventh of two thousand and two, and that's about it as far as the application is concerned. And then we have a. Uh, looks like. Uh, recording document uh, awesome. I knew the seller of this property Dave uh, Tri Tri it's a financial advisor um, okay uh, what can you tell us uh, so are you here because the assessed value was increased yeah that's what I would get. And you will get called up before then. Because, uh, okay. Okay. Um, All right. So, so uh, when was the last time it was assessed? I it's it's years ago. The area that was looked at. Uh, you know, this is a, in an area that things the market has been 
out of control over there. Perfect. And, uh, and you know, I guess okay? my uh, my question to you, Mr. Saya, would be: Is did he was it a tenant that bought the property from the, from the owner? Uh, well, the the sale price is low. That's why I'm yeah, asking that question. Oh, it was, uh, I, th I thought you said 2022. It's 2000. No, it's it was I'm sorry, 2000. Yeah, 2002. I was just reading it off. All right, right. Sorry. But but I get it if you thought it was 2022. No, they've been there for a while. So the so the uh, Mr. Fole said the the whole area was looked at. Um, so there was a product probably uh, because it hasn't been looked at in quite some time. Uh, and I'm just giving you some background, and then you can tell me about the property. But it was uh, raised because. Uh, um, they're looking to catch up with the, the properties that have sold and, and trying to get everybody on an even footing. Uh, although it might have been a, a large increase from the 43 to the 64, 21,000 in assessed value. Okay, so I'll be quiet and just tell me about the property um, uh, and why you think it's worth. Uh, Eighty thousand instead of a hundred thousand, basically. Um, my just read uh, it. We read the bell one. Okay, yeah. The uh, roof thirty years old, furnace thirty years old, uh, original floors, original windows. Uh, the garage is only for storage. Would would it, it, so you're well, saying? Well, it's a three-car garage, but it's actually like an old carriage house. It's in the back of the yard. You can't drive over the. Soft, yeah. Okay, so there's no driveway. There's no driveway. Nowhere to get a car there. In between the house, does it go back to the garage? Right. The driveway goes to the back of the house, and then there's yard, and there's a retaining wall right here. So you're not. I mean, even if you could drive over the yard without sinking in, you're not getting out there. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, all right, I get that. Uh, you you certainly could continue the tarry if you wanted to, but. Um, but not at, at present. Right. Uh, unfinished basement. Uh, most houses in the neighborhood are uh, for income property, so they sell at a higher price. Um, homeless uh, drug rehab shelter being three blocks, uh, built three blocks away. Uh, crime increasing, a lot, a lot of the city issues. Um, most owner occupied uh, Homes are much nicer than ours. Uh, let's see, rental on both sides and across the street. Okay, so a lot of rental. Have to walk through one of the two very small bedrooms to get to the. Bathroom. Yeah, it's a three bedroom. There's one like what is there an average size bedroom in the front, and then behind that there's two various like between there and the dressing. There's room to walk through. <laughs> And those two bedrooms go to the bathroom, so you have to walk through one of the other bedrooms to get to the bathroom. So one of the bedrooms is basically a walk through. <laughs> okay. So effectively, it's one decent bedroom and one small bedroom. Okay. And then the is there just one bath? Yeah. Well, downstairs they uh, at some point put a toilet in what used to be a stairwell, so there's no sink, just a bathroom, a toilet in a little room. Oh really? In the kitchen, yeah. There used to be a stairwell at some point when the house was built in the back of the house. Okay. And they disabled it and put a toilet in there, so they never went upstairs every time. Okay. So you basically have been living there. There hasn't been many upgrades uh, um, uh, since uh, since you purchased it. Yes. Right. Right. I understand it's gone up, and I've never done this before, so I don't know. How <laughs> Those are the houses that have been sold in the last year or so. They're just ones that I found that I thought were in similar condition to ours. Okay. But there's definitely a lot, a lot of the single family houses in the university area are much bigger. Like the ones where people live there, there's, they tend to be much nicer, like poor and Cambridge Street and stuff like that. So nice houses there. <laughs> okay. Not uh, houses itself, but it's not on that level. <laughs> No, yep, I understand. So some comps on Ruth Ave. The one that it was sold for 90,000, for example, was a big house with a big yard, and then the, the one that is there. But uh, we have no side yards at all. The only thing separating our house from my neighbor's house is our driveway on the side and the driveway on that side. And we got like this much that we have to get to the front yard. 
Okay, and uh, so we've got Ruth Ave, we've got uh, 205 Ashworth Place, uh, 1706 East Two minute Bay. warning. Okay, uh, 2320 East Genesee, 106 Berwyn, 119 Berwyn, and 250 Jamesville Ave. So we've got some comps that we'll take a look at. Are those assessed values that you're offering, no, or are they sales? It looks like they're purchase purchases. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, that, and that's fine. We can we can figure that out. This is all for us to keep. Is it? Yeah. Okay, that's good there. Let me go over to the city and see what they had to say. Uh, this is not my area. I'm representing the city. I didn't make the change to the uh, property. Whose area is it? It's Joe's. Joe's. Okay. Um, I job. am familiar with the area. So the area, the area was reviewed. The whole, whole entire area was reviewed. I'm sure if they talk to their neighbors, their 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 increase was pretty a pretty decent increase. It w it would increase their taxes by about eight hundred and forty dollars annually. Um, you know, uh, here are the comparable sales that Joe offered. Two and three. Okay. Let me ask you again. I don't know if you were sitting here. Are either one of you over 65 years of age? I'm going to ask you in an attempt to, to help. I, I, my, my thoughts are that you can't buy dirt in that neighborhood for less than $100,000. There's investors that will buy, those, buy your property in the blink of an eye up in that area i understand it's your your home and i'm not telling you to sell I, what i am going to offer to you what i am going to offer to you is what is known as an enhanced star right now you're getting about a 400 dollars savings off your city and school tax bill an enhanced star is going to increase that savings by 500 and uh, five hundred and thirty dollars off your city and school tax bill only. When we the Oh, you did. So you've already applied for it, yeah. and you applied for the senior citizens yeah. exemption too. Yeah. So those things are going to kind of the tax burden yeah, isn't it? Right. The tax burden is not going to be as severe as it it may have appeared to been because. Of those types of exemptions. Yes. Uh, what you say about uh, the how it can be sold and it's like a hot deal, I would say uh, depend. I will not pay if I want to live there. I will not pay that price. But if investor I rent, would an investor would buy it in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's what he's saying. By going to rental, I would say yes because uh, you know who cares. Right. And, 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 that's, and that's what he was saying. Live right. No, I, no, I, hey. Not that easy. Yeah. No, I, you got to live someplace. You know, I'm going to, the other thing, and just to, the city's not responsible for the maintenance of your property. You mentioned that the roof's 30 years old, the windows are 30 years old. We don't raise assessments because somebody puts a new roof on their house. If, if, if that's part of the thought process, take that out of your mind. We don't raise assessments because you replace windows. We, we, we do our best to reflect what the property would sell for if you were to put it on the market. Yeah, so you're not, it's not like you're gonna be, obviously you would be upgrading your house if there was a new roof put on. Right. However, the city doesn't run out and raise your assessment because you put a new roof on the house. Okay. You know, so it's just, you know, it's, it's relative. Uh, it will increase the value a little bit, so there could be a little increase here or there, but their their purview is to try to, um, you know, put the assessed value on the property that would equate to a price that the property would sell for. Okay, okay so that's what they try to do. Did you have a question? We are at time, just so you know. Okay, okay. So, so a lot of things happen in here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look at the stuff you submitted. We're gonna take a look at what the city said, and then we're gonna arrive at what we think the assessed value should be. 
um, and it would be somewhere in between the 64,000 and the 51,600 that you're suggesting, okay, based on the $80,000 market value um, that you're suggesting that the property's worth. And then uh, the uh, enhanced star savings would be great. And that'll take effect uh, in, in July uh, with the city and school, but not with the county. For the enhanced star, not with the county. But if you qualified for the senior citizens portion of the exemption, you will see a percentage off the assessed value, depending on where your income falls. You could get you could get anywhere from five to fifty percent off your assessed value. So if you're a fifty percent assessed value, what's the assessment on the property, Joe? Uh, currently tentative at sixty-four thousand. So you'd be paying on thirty-two thousand dollar assessed yeah, value. You're probably actually going to be ahead of the game, just because of those exemptions. Uh, you, you filled out the enhanced star. I filled out the enhanced star and the senior citizen. Did fill out the yeah. senior citizen? Beautiful. As long as you qualify, they, we usually tell you while you're standing right there, you're going to get five percent or fifty percent off. Do you know what? Do you recall what you were told? Um, I just gave her the paper and she took it. <coughs> yeah, you. you I, I. You know. Again, they I don't know. Stop down there now, right? They no. could probably ask you. Yeah. Yeah. Income, yeah. income wise, your income was below thirty-seven thousand four hundred. Yeah. Were either one of you veterans? Yeah. Okay, so no, right? You're get all the exemptions possible. Okay. My suggestion is to stop down in room one thirty before you leave today, okay. and just say, "Hey, uh, my address is this. We dropped off the appropriate paperwork. Um, could you pull it, possibly?" and see if i don't know what the procedure is downstairs but they may be able to pull your file they should be able to they'll, be, they'll file. be able to pull it up on the so computer they'll be able to pull your file and uh they'll be able to tell you if you will qualify for the enhanced and senior based on your income so yeah i would hit it before you leave yeah okay and then, uh, but no it's good that you came in today we got some uh things to do and and then we'll send you a notice first week of april Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Ed, um, who's Ward 1 and 4? That's Tom. That is Tom? Okay. Um, He's supposed to be up here. I don't know. You want me to call him? Yeah, if you just want to tell him. Well, I don't have my... Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Um, the question that I have about the two from now... So I think the rest of them are mostly Tom. Am I correct? Uh, uh, no. No? Okay. No, I so get, you are going to be sticking around? I am, I am going to okay. be here for, I, I mean, I've got four or five more to, today's my day, so. Okay. So then I will hold on to these. If I was going to leave, I was So far, I haven't had a heart attack. That's a good so thing. That he could do any input, but if he's going to be around, then no big deal. So we're waiting for, we're waiting for cause we have to come up or somebody else to arrive. No, he's the next one. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for Tom to come up because they weren't scheduled for until 10, 10, 10, 20, but I mean, yeah. he's here. So yeah, we're going to try to get the assessor. To come up. So. You're supposed to be here, Tom. You have somebody waiting for you. Well, the guy, the gentleman is here. So well, actually, yeah, no, it's yeah, supposed to be ten ten. He's he's got okay. All right. I won't get any properties. These were ones that were originally scheduled for February eighth. And that's the so, gentleman. Yes. Okay. So you'll see in here. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Um, and Ed. So the assessor is going to come up about five minutes or so. Michelle, what happened to Midland? Huh? What happened to Midland? Which happened? What happened to Midland? Midland. Oh, so that lady um, is probably not going to be here because her letter. Um, she's got a Brooklyn address and she didn't put an apartment number, so the appointment letter was mailed back to us. Mm. 
so we will discuss that one later. Okay. And this one here, um, they had a death in the family. Oh, really? Uh, I called and left a message to see if they wanted it rescheduled, mm -hmm. um, but I haven't heard back. So mm -hmm. we're going to read that in case of, uh, yeah. sometimes a death in the family might mean that they're going to be out in California. And that's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, right now we Okay. This is a 308 first thing. Hmm? What you're talking about is the 308 first that's the, the death, death of the family, right. yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. So Italian beef sandwich. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You were in Chicago? Yeah. I was in Chicago for a couple of meetings. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Did you have the jardinera and the beef sandwich? Uh, what, what the vegetables? Oh, yeah, the yeah, vegetables? yeah, yeah. The yeah, vegetables? Yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've never made one or eaten one of them, so but I've seen them. Really they, they look like. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to him about how bad I felt for his team. Fly, Eagles, fly. Yeah, fly, Eagles, fly. That's right. I couldn't bring myself to say that. <laughs> I have uh, my sister and her husband and children and their children lived in Philly for well my nieces and nephews grew up in Philly so I kind of have uh, I kind of have to cheer for the Eagles or I'll be disowned by my nieces and nephews yeah please my uh, my niece went to Notre Dame and I've told her I'm like, for the four years you're there, if they're not playing us, you, I'll cheer for Notre Dame. Once you're gone, do not ever expect me to cheer for them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just never like Notre Dame. <laughs> this year felt like the year for us. I thought that nothing would to stop us. That was me last year. <laughs> not so much this year. Um, there. Yeah, I don't know what happened this year. I... With the Bills? Or... Yeah. Um, I can't stand all the articles that they're like, oh, well, uh, the Bills missed their window. Now, now they don't have a chance. And I'm like, how can you say that?
How are you? Good. Good. So you've got two properties, uh, 1407 Park Street and 307 Canal Street. Okay. So uh, uh, let me swear you in. If you can remember your schedule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 1407 Park Street and 307 Canal Street. I think they were here. These properties were uh, on for another day. Yes. And then this gentleman wasn't able to come in, so he's he's now uh, uh, appearing. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, <coughs> uh, I'm going to swear you in. Uh, do you want to talk about these in any particular order? Okay, it doesn't matter. So we'll go uh, with the order that they're on the sheet. Uh, if you could raise your right hand, state your name for the record. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. I do. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. So we've got 1407 Park Street. This will be number four for uh, the board's uh, edification. And uh, I'm going to read it in, read some numbers, and then I'll ask you some questions. Um, so uh, we did read this in the other day, uh, but we'll do it again. 1407 Park Street. It's a two-family house still being renovated. Um, now I have, uh, well, let me give, go over the numbers for a minute. Uh, current tentative assessment is uh, unfinished at 32000 Tom. I'd have to review what we submitted. Oh. Because I didn't know it was going to be heard today. Oh, okay. All right, so fair there enough. There should be a printout. This is probably the information that you submitted. Um, all right, well, let me go with what I have here. It's, it's, I'm sure it's the same because we confirmed it the other day. Uh, 32,000 uh, uh, was on. Um, I have unfinished at 32,000 with a land value of 19,800. Uh, petitioner believes the fair market value is 30,000, uh, which would be an assessed value of 19,350. Um, at 32,000, the market value would be 49,612. Um, so let me just look at a couple things here 32, 49, 612. 19,350, 30,000. Okay, that's everything we have on the sheet as well. Uh, thank you, Michelle, for that. Um, so, wh what's the situation on this property? As far as your application, it says two family house still being renovated. Um, and actually, it looks like in uh, April 16th of 2021, you paid $1,000 cash. Was that from the land bank? All right, so it was a land bank purchase. Now, uh, uh, first of all, is anybody living there now? Nobody's living there. Um, what is What condition was it in, and what have you done up to this point? Yeah, I have a few pictures of what it used to look like. Okay. It'll explain why I only paid 1000 for it. Yep. Um, <clears throat> it's still being renovated. I did a lot of work. We had our all new electrical put in. Uh, permit pulled, uh, new furnaces put in, permit pulled, new insulation, sheetrock, um, working on the sheetrock, and then there will be new flooring and new, pretty much new everything. Okay. Uh, but still working on the second floor, have not even done anything, using the first floor of storage for now. Um, okay, is we'll the be, first floor done? No, God, no, I wish. <coughs> no, that's not done either. That will be next. That's after the second floor is done, which will hopefully... May, June, if I'm lucky, I'll have it done, the second floor. Okay, and let me ask you, uh, is, is is this your main job? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is, I just do rental properties, and right now this is the only thing I'm focused on. Um, this house has become a bit of a story. We bought it, or I bought it in 2021. <coughs> we have a year to complete it for Land Bank. We're busy with other houses. This house needed more work than all three other houses combined so we at the time i was working with my brother-in-law decided to leave this for the last one and took way longer than we thought 
I'm not paying $500 a month to Land Bank because it's over one year. $500 a month every month. Oh, interesting. Uh, and it's okay. costing me so much money uh, to fix it. And obviously not making any money from it. And I think on paper it shows there's a four family. At some point, I it have must have something been. here for you unit with a question mark. <clears throat> yeah, at some point it must have been. I don't know when. I bought it as a two family, physically just the downstairs and the upstairs. Um, uh, I'm currently in the process of doing the change of occupancy. Uh, what's his name? The architect did you know, do the floor plans, drew them, we submitted them, and now we're just waiting. Everyone's waiting on everyone. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I'm so frustrated with that part, but it's a two-family house. Okay. Uh, there's no way it's a four-family. Okay. Uh, two-family, not making any money, spending way more than I can. And you've got to pay the uh, land bank uh, five hundred dollars every month. month. I well, tried. They had to put something because I, uh, we were selling some land bank properties also, and you know nothing ever goes as planned, and yeah. I get that. However, um, people do. You know they it. just can't. Yeah, I mean, people yeah. try to uh, um, not, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but uh, it becomes the last resort and yeah. land bank <laughs> has to put something in there as incentive to get it done. Yeah, I understand. I understand that part. I signed the contract. I agree. I've had plenty of land bank houses before, um, and I agree to that on every contract. Sure. Never went past a year before. Right. Uh, this time I did wait you know way past it and <clears throat> it's just killing me man and the taxes are just you know just on top of that and so uh i can give you these pictures for yeah this is what the second floor used to look like there were trash bags on top when i got it of the openings okay so you're across from saint john's yeah because i can see through the window <laughs> yes yeah what window <laughs> well yeah <laughs> I have a clear picture. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but right into St. John's Church and school and yeah, third house up from uh, of course. I, think I knew the north side, did you? I'm pretty <laughs> sure you did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Baptist St. John. Joe Baptist. knows everything. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for saying that. But far from it, as far as my wife is concerned. But I digress. <laughs> um, all right. So. Normally, you know, we, we, we're pretty stringent, well, we're, we'll try to be a little stringent on the one year unfinished yeah. uh, as far as the city's concerned, too. <laughs> Let me, though, defer to Tom to see if uh, uh, it sounds like, um, uh, you know, I hate to hit him twice uh, with respect to... Uh, you know the land bank assessment and so anyway uh i'm wondering if uh, uh although i think that it sounds like he's going to get the second floor in order in the next uh six months well let me just give you a little background yeah. on the land bank assessment since they're all, since they're totally exempt even from special charges which i don't know how they did that because other vacant properties have to pay water frontage charges but um since it's exempt, it doesn't matter. We could put it on as a dollar or a million dollars. So the thirty-two thousand, you know, for it being exempt, personally at thirty thousand, he might be estimating the value a little high. You know, given you know, I I've got no problem with uh, recommending a, a twenty thousand dollar assessment. Then when the house is fixed up, we'll uh, reassess it and give you a forty-five <coughs> J exemption to less than the tax burden on you and that'll run for seven years or six years so so you're asking for an assessed value of nineteen thousand three hundred and fifty Tom is saying that he would recommend and agree to an assessed value of twenty thousand what he would have to do is amend his application because the assessment can't be given or less than what he's asking for in his, in his petition. Right, but so it is asking, a, he's asking for nineteen three fifty. So if so I'm saying the house is worth twenty thousand, oh, I, I thought you were saying assessed value. Yeah. Of that looks 
I might have filled out wrong. I've never done this before. I don't know what I would. You do all right. <laughs> yeah, we give an assessment of twelve thousand nine hundred dollars. Oh, okay. So I thought you were saying assess value of twenty. You're saying market value of twenty. <coughs> right. <coughs> all right. So he would have to amend oh, his yeah. application. <laughs> Which we can My do. brain sometimes forgets that it, <coughs> so it just keeps on doing this cycle. <laughs> no, I I understand, you know, that the land bank wants to get these properties done, but yeah. and I just can't say anything on the record. <laughs> <laughs> and just for the record, the fact that it sat there and it was not finished in one year, I promise you, it was not because I was not working. I worked harder than ever in my life that year that I was not working here. Uh, we, I did many other houses, both new that we bought, which was three of them, and two uh, houses, tenants moved, so we had to completely redo those. It was not sitting there, not being worked on, because I did not okay. want to work. Sure. Worked harder than ever in my life, <laughs> you know, and... Sure. No, so. I, I understand that. Um, Tom, the, you said $20,000 market value. What was the... the Twelve nine, so 12, around 9. 13000 13,000? Yeah. Jamie, you're recommending 13,000? Yeah. Okay, so your application said 30,000 and 19,350. Tom has recommended 20,000 market value, which would be a $13,000 assessed value. So I just need you to initial this, okay. and then, uh, you know, we'll, I'm not telling you what we're going to do, but we'll go along with that change. Uh, yes. So if you can just, uh, on the bottom, this uh, actually right over on top. Yeah. So then, uh, uh, we're all set there. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I get And then I have pictures from the first floor. If you guys want them yeah. as well, well, we would like to so have so some receipts. Tell people you have to oh, uh, Tom, is this unfinished at 13? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so what will happen? Is that, and I and I'm, I fully believe that you're going to be all done and up and running by, you know, the end of this year. Yeah. Um, but the city will come out and relook at the situation, make sure everything's all set, yeah. and then it will be increased for next year um, to what you know it should be based on now finished and rented. So. Um, just so you're aware, but uh, we'll put it on for another year. I think that's fair. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And now we've got 307 Canal Street. This will be number five for us. Tom, thank you for that. Uh, I think that's uh, the way to go. Okay. Now this one here, uh, we did read this in again. Um, I just want to confirm the numbers. Uh, we've got a current tenant of assessed value of 61500 uh, which would be a, a equatable market value of $95,349. Petitioner believes the fair market value is $60,000 uh, with a uh, equatable assessed value of $38,700. Now this is a, th you say it's a single family house. I've got a question mark regarding the two unit. So hold that thought for a minute. Um, this you purchased uh, on October 28th of 2021 for 13,000. And I've got something about uh, our, uh, arm's length. So who did you purchase this from? Oh, <laughs> from a middleman, I forget his name now. It wasn't Land Bank. Pretty much an agent. I'm not sure what this guy is. A realtor? Is. Yeah, it's a realtor. I forgot his name. Okay. Um, I actually have him as a Facebook friend. I can, you want me to find his name? Yeah, if you can. I just want to confirm, uh, uh, not necessarily the person, but if it was a realtor, it'd be nice to know uh, maybe he bought it and then flipped it. Uh, just want to get a little basis for um, how you acquired the property. And while you're looking for his name, Mm -hmm. um, 
Is this a two family? Is this a one family? It's a one family. Daniel Sisto. Daniel Sisto. Dan Sisto is his name. I think I heard that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I call. I don't know. I call him a middleman. I don't know what the official. He just That's gets right. the contract for the Maybe. house. And <clears throat> oh, I know. You know. Yeah. You the know, owner will say, I never "Hey, done, I, right. I want <coughs> for this, and then whatever you get over that, it's your money." It's right. Yeah, and that's that's out there. Yeah, I don't uh, know how much the owner I came wanted, across so. it once. A wholesaler, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, anyway. so I, again, on paper, it was a two-family. Um, but it's a one-family house, and we actually did the change of occupancy and completed the whole thing. It's it's finished. So, so as far as the city and codes is concerned, it's a one. Family. It's a one family, but for whatever reason, it's not updated. I don't know if it was because of COVID or just backed up. I'm not sure. Um. And I could not find the paper. I do have the paper that says, you know, change of occupancy thing Should completed. Submit that, or this is, yeah, I have to review the information we submitted the other oh, day. Oh yeah. All right. There. Yep. Let me get it. On the on on the uh, you reviewed the information on fourteen oh seven, and are you in agreement that it's a two family? Yeah. Okay. And all we got to do is once it's done, we want to come back out, follow us, so we can go back out and inspect it. Anytime. Just after right. Anytime. Okay, this was what was submitted for Canal Street. Good. Uh, trying to make sure I've got my correct information here. For uh, okay, so Tom, based on what you looked at, um, you're you're going to look for some information yeah. that confirms that it's a one family. Yeah, we'll have to inspect it to make sure that it is a one family. Okay. Is yeah. that something that you want to? Uh, yeah, I know the purchase price was five thousand dollars, and we, you know, whenever we see a purchase price that low, we definitely question the sale. That's just. Now I got thirteen thousand. Yeah, so that's a five. The owner wanted five thousand, and then whatever Dan Sisto gets over that is his. Okay, so, so you paid thirteen. I paid thirteen so. to Dan Sisto, and then he paid. He must have paid five to the uh, owner. So, the, so, so your paperwork shows you five thousand. I want to get in on this. <laughs> <laughs> he made more than the seller. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and just for the for the value. Of, of the house now, I, I looked at it on Zillow. It says a hundred something. I'll sell it today if it's a hundred something. I could never get that money there, you know, in that house in that location. I, I'll drop well, the, the yeah. So currently, the yeah, uh, the, the, there's no way. The equatable market value from the current assess tenant as assessment sixty one five is ninety five thousand. So that's what we got to delve into. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Give it to you guys for eighty. Take it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Well, no. only, He's only, an only investor. Teacher. I want to pay a hundred. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Who's an investor? Give the ten to Sisto. How's that? Uh, yeah, or sure. The yeah. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Uh, I, I think the house is a little over assessed. Uh, I mean, I got sales that you know from all over that. Uh, uh, that range from well what you, you Tom uh, give you a little more time to think um, what is the situation with this house currently I didn't ask you it's that. renovated it was crap. when I first bought it for 13,000 I renovated it and, and so somebody's living there. somebody is living and there what do they pay in rent thousand dollars a month okay um, okay uh, uh, it, okay, okay. And you have it uh, rented as a one family. As a one family, yeah. The one party. Yes. That includes heat, or they pay their own. No, heat. they pay their own heat yeah. and, uh, and gas. Plus, and what, was, what was the rent again? You, you charged one thousand. And uh, 
uh, welfare was paying 697 of that and then they were paying the rest I don't know if that matters or not but I think they're not going to pay anymore I got something that says current monthly payment of 697 is stopped effective on February 28th what well, was tell you why they're not going to pay because huh. your house is going to be empty yeah <laughs> so you might want to talk to the tenants why is it going to be empty well because you're buying it <laughs> no no what well what I think is happening I don't know this mm -hmm. but when you get a notice like that the tenant is in control of what takes place with respect to these monies okay so what I think happened I'm not saying it happened I'm on the record I'm not saying this yeah. happened is happening but probably what happened is the tenant's going to move. Oh, boy. So they told social services, stop, stop paying <clears throat> rent as at the end of this month. Oh, boy. Okay, so what you should do is just, you know, play dumb if you want. Yeah. Go to the tenant and say, hey, I got this notice, so are you guys going to start paying the rent out of your pocket? And at that point, they're going to tell you what's going down. Oh, crap. That, that's, that's what I think is going to happen. Are they on time with the rent? They are on time, yeah. Well, they've been on time. Yeah. They, uh, they've Just, had to pay yeah. three hundred dollars, three or three. But I never take the three dollars. They, yeah, and they're not. They know what they're doing. They bring it to me in quarters. The three dollars. I always say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, but, but I think that's probably what's going to happen. So just uh, go to nice. them and. Uh, just say you know not for nothing but you know they're probably not on the lease they're supposed to give you a 30 days notice yeah yeah um so you know you want to have that conversation with them but uh you want to you want to address that that's, that's that's what i think may happen um that's okay good John. thank you i did not think of that i yeah for sure um, we have to go by what he's getting in rent now so it, no i actually have a thousand dollars a month i mean you have a recommendation? I would say using a gross rent multiplier of five that is worth at least fifty. To say again? At least fifty thousand. You're recommending yeah. fifty thousand? Okay. So you're recommending fifty thousand as an assessed value or a market as value? A market value. So you're recommending fifty thousand as a market value. Okay. So if that's the case, we're going to have to amend this also. It will be a 32.5 for such value, roughly. Okay. Uh, 32.500 assessed value. Okay, so what I'm going to do again, like we did with the last one. You were asking for a market value of sixty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> the city's recommending a market value of fifty thousand. I'll agree with this sixty. No, we'll go with fifty. <laughs> <laughs> if we can do fifty, I was just trying. I've never done this before, so I just did not want to be, you know, ridiculous. What way off the. Oh. Well, Keep lower, lower than. Yeah. Well, we let him amend it. We'll go with fifty. 50 at this point yeah. it'll be looked at again next year yeah. um, but at this point uh, you were at 60 city recommends 50,000 uh, which would be a $32,000 assessed value and um, uh, I'm sorry Tom I should have maybe said that beforehand um, I mean we can get it right here if you yeah. want yeah go ahead leave it where it is okay so the city is recommending 50,000 um, market value, and which would be a $32,000 and 32,500 assessed value. However, we could, well, no, we're gonna have the initial it, so we'll have to leave it at that. Um, possibly, and I, I guess we could hang our hat on the fact that chances are it's gonna be vacant shortly, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but uh, I will have you, uh, I'll put a little check mark here if you put initial that. Okay. And uh, that's uh, try to remember uh, um, today and uh, uh, Mr. Johnson because he, you know, uh, it was good that you came in today and, you know, they, he really. Uh, I'm in a generous mood. You <laughs> are in a generous mood and he did, a, you know, all kidding aside, yeah. uh, you know. 
uh, really did a, a good thing for you on both properties. So try to, you know, try to keep that in mind for, you know, future. I will. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I when I raise it, you won't be too angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where I was going yeah. without specifically saying yeah. that. Because, no, these, I, I, because these will be looked at yeah. uh, for sure this, because this is an unfinished. Yeah. So when an unfinished is on, it's going to be looked at the next year anyway. Yeah. Um, this, you know, while he's in the neighborhood, he may look at that also, not targeting both of them, but you can make it just a overall. Yeah. Yeah. Not a problem. Anytime yeah. you guys want to come out, you're more than welcome. Yeah. You know, uh, we yeah. can go inside to look at the whole thing. Well, um, the, the, yeah, and then the other thing is definitely it sounds like uh, you're very much taking care of your properties. What was the other one on 1407 Park? Yeah. The other one was 1407 Park. Uh, and then this one was. Uh, 307, 307 Canal Street. What's your phone number so I can call you? So 315 oh, yeah. 956 7379. 7379, okay. Sam. I, I go by Sam, it's easier Sam. to pronounce. Okay. Okay. And then uh, thank one you. other thing. Um, do uh, do you have other pictures you wanted to submit of Canal not, Street? I don't have any. I looked through the phone, I could not find okay. any. I, the only thing I have is the thing that says the payments are being stopped from Pinal. Yeah, you guys want that? You're more than welcome to take it. No, but I'll look at it just to. Uh, yeah, I think that you know definitely check the <clears throat> check with your tenant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just says stopped uh, by the 28th of February. So, I guess they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, you, guys you know, it could be, you know, that uh, they got jobs and, you know, they don't qualify anymore. I mean, yeah. it could be any number of things, but you definitely want to check it out. We'll do. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Thank you. Well, thanks. Yes. Have a good day. Oops. I don't want to warn you. Why do you go spy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Take it easy. Okay. Take care. Take a brief recess so I can speak to the board yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's administrative matter, not providing authority. Yeah, I just want to go over tomorrow. Yeah, beautiful. So, I'm just going to recess for a moment. Yeah, sure. Nobody's here, so. This is live marks. Yeah. You are sure to
So what was it? Do you guys have property in Chicago? We, uh, no. There was uh, Rogers and Hollins is the uh, company, and then an Hit Sugar. They're both, uh, one is a jewelry store, and the other one is a retail uh, candy store. They're expanding. Sorry? What's the name of it? Sugar. Okay. Uh, they're in Destiny. Yeah, there was a, um, sorry, in Chicago, there's a, there's a candy store west of Chicago in Mobile. That, that I love going to the in high school. Oh, yeah, it's Peoria. We get Whitey's milkshakes, and it's the only time you get a milkshake in the fish. Get Whitey's milkshakes, and you can get a milkshake. This is neat because you're a hail. You do it. Nice. Yeah. Come down and deal with that. Okay. Okay. Good special treatments for that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. We own uh, Yorktown okay. Center. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know how close that is. It's pretty far north, so it's in Michigan. Yeah. It's north of I-80, so it's You know, South Lake Mall? Yeah, I know South Lake Mall. Yeah. And I think I was told, but who are you working for? Pacific Retail. is a developer. A shopping center developer. Shopping center developer, and they have. Are they based out of Syracuse? Based out of LA. I'm. I'm based out of Syracuse. Oh, <laughs> okay. And they have properties. Or, uh, what's the closest property? Closest would be Albany. Albany. Yeah. Okay. So they have uh, uh, people like yourself in various regions of the country. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, a quorum is three. Correct. All right, so we can we can proceed. Well, still present, uh, uh, board members will be, will be back uh, board members will be back uh, member Master Cole, uh, has, uh, um, but the quorum is still present, yes. Okay, good. Um, so what we'll do, if you want to just pull that point right there. Yeah. Perfect, okay. Uh, yes, very good. Sorry about the wires and what I have you. Um, okay, so you're here for 163 Maplehurst Avenue. That is correct. Okay, and that's the only property. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me swear you in if I if you could raise your right hand. State your name for the record. Frank Patain. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth yes. to help you, God? Okay, sounds good. So Frank Patain, uh, 163 Maplehurst <laughs> Avenue. This is a one-family home. Do you live in this property? Yes, I do. Okay. So let me just read some numbers in just to verify some stuff. Uh, this will be number six for uh, the board's purposes. Hmm? <laughs> Hold on. Can you... Checking to see who has it? Yeah, yeah I don't have on anything on Maple Arts. It wasn't on okay. our list. It wasn't on our list. I don't know. Okay. It was a reschedule. Okay, it was a reschedule from. Let me go down and get it. Uh, two nine. Two nine. Yep. Okay. So there, there's a file on it. Um, they just didn't weren't aware that it was rescheduled for today. Okay. So he's just going to grab that file. Yeah, she just shot it to me over the phone. I had a doctor's appointment that day, that's why I couldn't. Okay. Yeah, no worries, and I don't want to start with your information because I want you know whatever assessors here in it for yeah that. Um, so that would be good um, so we'll take a, a short recess here what was the address uh, 163 Maplehurst Avenue Correct. yep nice area yeah it's uh, not the best neighborhood but uh, you know, like the north side has gone down quite a, while, yeah. quite a ways. I mean, yeah. Literally to the point where I've had to move my parents out of there. They lived on Pond Street and we moved oh, yeah. them out to Brewerton and it's just gotten brutal over there. Yep. It hasn't yet come to my neighborhood, but it's on its way. Yeah. Uh, I think that's accurate. I grew up, you know, in the city and and uh, I knew, I remember some Patane names. Where'd you go to high school? I went to high school at Fowler. 
Okay. Originally, we're supposed to go to Henniger, but they had the whole segregation thing going on where half the north side went to Fowler. Did you half. grow up on Pond Street? I did. Yeah, so, yes. yeah, yeah, I remember that. I went to Henniger. Uh, but, uh, yes, I, that's correct. There was some line somewhere where... Um, Kids I went to this grand school with were literally catching the bus on my corner to go to Henniger. <laughs> like, so, but yeah. it is what it is. Yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, Grant. My wife taught at Grant for a few years. Yeah. And I think my father went to Grant. Fowler has a nice sports complex now, right? It does now. They do. They knew yeah, now. It really adds to the image of the streets. I really played does. soccer for them back when I was going there. I graduated back in 87. So, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a good time. I mean, but still, it was a little, a little bit of a rough neighborhood. Yeah. And yes. I guess it's par for the course. But, like, uh, yeah. A lot of neighborhoods are rough now, so it's... <laughs> yes, no, very true. But I agree with you that uh, Maplehurst's still uh, solid, but it's creeping. Uh, so Slowly but surely, um, the rental properties aren't doing it any justice over there. Yeah. You know, it's just uh, nobody really cares, and out of all things, it, it's... You know, when it comes to the snowy time of the season, we're like one of the last to get plowed over there and salted. I mean, if you ain't got a four-wheel drive vehicle, you're not making it up Maplehurst. Yep. Yep. Where's your parents now? Uh, they're out in uh, Brewerton, um, just uh, down the road from uh, the Lima Coffee. Yeah. Yeah, Straight yeah. Up. Yeah. Yes. I got to get them on a one floor ranch where, you know, my mom didn't have to go down to the basement, you know, yeah. to go do the laundry, you know, fell a few times already and hurt her knee, her hip, and they're just they're at that age now where one floor suits them, laundry, same floor, you know what I mean? It's just, yes. Uh, yes, I know. They exactly. were one of the few old school Italians that came Stay there. there. And what part of Town took, Street? Um, across from Wegmans there. Yeah. And, uh, I you know, got Daddy Azo, you remember? Yeah. Daddy? Yeah. It's unbelievable, but it's the transformation. Right up on the hill. Back then, those were when, when everyone cared about their houses. Oh, you God, know, they yes. took pride in everything they did. You know, it was a great neighborhood. And then, you know, as time went by, you know, people passed away. The kids took over. They didn't want nothing to do with the houses anymore. Then rental people took over, rented it out to you know lower class people, and they just let the neighborhood go by the wayside. Very tough down there. It is. I used to do a lot of real estate business on the north side, and uh, uh, I've, I've, I've watched it. You know, my parents. It's sad. Up, it's very uh, sad. Lodi Street and mm -hmm. Butternut. I had cousins over on Lodi Street, more Patanes. Um, I remember back as far as, shoot, Marble Farms. Remember Marble Farms yes. was there? Yes. <laughs> Mussolino is one of the few auto places that it's still there Tony. after all these years. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. I still bring my vehicle there to get serviced. And <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, gee, he's got to be uh, morning. Uh, what's he got to be? Seven, Pushing seven, 80. Seven, 80 now? Pushing 80, yeah. My dad will be 82, so it's, uh, he's oh my, my God. dad's age. So, yeah, that got um, away his son from Vinny me. took over the place, and uh, he's doing well. You know, he's still got these, still raced the funny cars at Esta, and... Yeah. So Tony dropped out of it. Got to be a little bit too much for him. His wife Angela, or was it Angela? No, not Angela. His daughter Angela passed away years ago. Remember that incident that happened on? Oh yes. And, uh, that was sad. And that was very sad. She was a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. so then uh, a few years back, he lost his wife um, to an illness, and uh, so it just uh, they always had a bunch of tragics happen, you know. It's as sad as it sounds. I mean, it's part of life that you got to go through. But you know, I see a kid as long as young as Angela was, you lose her life over just you know a stupid illness where she forgot to take her medication and decides to take her own life off that bridge. So, yeah. Yeah. I remember. Very tragic. This was uh, well, ten years ago, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. She had a little nail salon place there yeah. up on uh, State Street. Yes. Correct. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I can't remember. I think the wife oh, passed away at Parkinson's or something. She had Parkinson's really bad, and she just finally lost it with it. And okay. Pretty sad. Yes. Uh, life goes on, but um, we're at that 
stage now where a lot of uh, a lot of uh, deaths of people that we know. And yep. It's funny, you know, the time you really get to see people now is either at a wedding or a funeral. Sure. It's just... Uh, no, it's a normal progression, unfortunately. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got what you need? So you've already been sworn in, so we're good there. Uh, we have what we need as far as the city's concerned. Who's going to speak? Is this Tom's yeah. area? Okay. Um, all right. So this is, uh, once again, one family home. You live there. Um, let me just confirm some numbers. Uh, we have a current tentative assessment of $77,000 with a land value of $10,600. That would equate to a uh, market value of $119,380. The uh, property owner's estimate of fair market value is $70,000, which would be an equatable assessed value of forty five thousand one fifty. Forty five thousand one fifty. Let me just look through the petition. Okay, so uh you purchased uh uh is this uh, uh April twenty eighth of two thousand four? <coughs> Okay, I just want to do the four. Uh, you paid $69,679.58, it looks like. And uh, it was, uh, uh, it was a long time ago, so it really doesn't matter as far as uh, how you purchased it, you know, mortgage or whatever. Um, okay. Uh, so the applications in here you've got some information so let me turn it over to you you've been there for a while and uh, just a little bit about the house and and uh, uh, again the uh, you're 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 thinking that the property um, uh, is worth what you paid for it uh, but your thought is it probably went up in value and now you think it's coming down a little bit in value based on yeah and in essence it was it was estimated at sixty five thousand dollars when I purchased the property um, I can't say it really has changed much and nothing really much has been done to the house but the other the houses around me the property values of those houses are not in the ballpark with me especially at some of the houses if you ever been there physically they're, 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 they're dilapidated need a lot of work and you know um, there's was an incident where you know the neighbors are not taking care of their houses I have pictures in proof of you know, uh, steps falling apart a chimney that's about ready to fall on my house right now um, there was another incident where the neighbors are not cutting the grass they don't shovel their walkway my neighbor across the street literally got hit by my next door neighbor last year as he that she was barreling out of her driveway couldn't stop hit him and a snowblower out into the road oh wow you guys probably heard about that mm -hmm. if not i have a video if you'd love to see that <laughs> one i'm like but well uh, let's let's uh and i don't dispute that let's stay on your house now just for a minute and then we can go to the neighbors and nothing much has really changed in my house um in retrospect to you know the the structure of the house but um it, it needs work you know the uh, retaining wall to the driveway is starting to sag um i've been out of work on a fixed income for the last 15 years i would medically retired out of chrysler you know it's not something that i have funds to do right now or am i physically able to do um like I said, the houses, it, the, value, the values in the, of the houses in that neighborhood are pretty much similar, but a lot of the houses are not, a lot nicer looking than mine. You know, I up, 
kept it as much as I could do and as less much as my father or my friends could help out to do. You know, the driveway's in need of repair. I mean, I had the uh, house sighted, I don't know, probably about 10 years ago with money that I got from a lawsuit from a car accident. And I didn't even have enough money to do the garage. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, You have pictures of your house? I do. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at some of those. Your house is in a three-bedroom one bath with uh it's four bedroom four bedroom one bath it's tiny bedroom you know what i mean but um okay i wouldn't call it a bedroom it's more my den now okay what do you have for inventory uh on the house uh tom uh, four bedrooms one bath 1484 square feet Okay. I have a full frontal picture of the house, but I'm sure you guys can see on the internet. I basically took pictures of the inside of my house, the, the water seeping in from the walls, the mold that's down there, and it's all from everything coming in through the outside of the house. And Yeah, anything that you can show us would be helpful. Um, that's the roof. You see, it, I couldn't get that changed. So we got I some moss. Okay. Okay. You know, um, that's the basement water damage seeping in through the black wall. That's the mold growing in my basement right now, which I don't have the funds to take care of and get it repaired. I have to have a humidifier on, dehumidifier on constantly, and this is just what works around the clock. Um, as you can see, the front foundation of my house is sagging where the porch is. See the gap in the base of the door? Everything is out of square, the whole front of the house. That's the retaining wall. It holds the dirt up from my driveway. And it's just in desperate need of repair. You know yeah. what I mean? I see that. Um, that's further up toward the foundation of the porch where everything is just kind of sagging, which is causing that gap in the door that you saw earlier. Okay. See how far it came apart? Yep. Between the wall there. Well, that's the, the neighbor's roof next door. Shingles ending up on my property. <laughs> this is what we're going to say. Oh, sure. That's her steps in the need of repair. Yeah, I would say. Um, let's go back to. There's a picture. Chimney. That's a chimney that's going to come down on my house. Getting ready. Yeah. And okay. nobody's been over there to do anything yet. You know, I've called code enforcement every time there's an infraction or a problem with her. They come over there, they read her the riot act. But she can't really do anything because it's not her house, it's her rental property. So they need to contact the owner to make sure oh, something yeah. gets done. Yeah. I mean, this is a, so she's God, a, God she's forbid a somebody walks up that driveway, you know, a mailman or a, a FedEx driver yeah, or something. They're like going to get, they're gonna get, they're gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah, it's already ending. Place. It's already pieces of end up in my driveway and in my side of the house. And, you know, once that goes, it goes. All right. Um, so there's some uh, deferred maintenance uh, that, you know, uh, Mr. Pertain knows that uh, it's his responsibility, not, not her house, of course, but uh, yours. Um, what uh, uh, what do you have as far as comps? Uh, you got well, comps. let me ask you: was the uh, was the assessed value raised? Okay, so you you're just coming in to uh, 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 seeking a lower assessment, but yes. your assessed value wasn't increased. Well, from the original yeah. assessed value of sixty five thousand was increased. When yes, but not house. necessarily this last year. Right, is what I'm getting I at. think it's went up. By, well, it went up from last year to this year. Seven grand. You guys wanted to raise. Oh, okay. So it was so an increase. It okay. did go up. Two minutes. Yeah. Two. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to submit comps that show properties in the area from 108 up to 190. I don't agree with the seventy thousand dollar value at all, and I'll let the board. You know, but no. The area is not declining. Prices over there are, are still going up. This now, is this is pre COVID though, right? No. This, this these is are current sales. Yes, it is. These are current sales. The, the the you know, so generally speaking, the uh, uh, the market's been 
uh, pretty hot. I think it slowed down a little bit uh, when the Fed started increasing rates. Um, but uh, uh, let's see what we have as far as uh, these are all sales uh, uh, August of 2021, January 22. October of 22. So these are recent sales. Those are all COVID, after COVID, when the prices jacked up. And well, we're just buying houses like crazy and. Understood, but we have to use that as uh, uh, some of the criteria um, of a current market condition, yes. Um, uh, 108, 135, 120, 153, 190. And, and again, the 190 may not be. Uh, exact looks like a brick house. That would be the high end of the market, sure. Yeah, yeah, because they've got you at about 120. Uh, okay, um, do you want to take a look at some of these comps that the city has? And again, they're not exact. We plus and minus, we do what we have to do to arrive at what we think the property's worth, um, but these are uh, a basis of the area. But these are also not a basis of the houses that are on my block. These are all houses that are further up the block, away from my area. So I mean, it's you still, can't really it's still generalize. The same put me in there. It's still you know, in mean, the same market. When area. you do an appraisal, it's a half a half a mile radius from around your house. So again, we're going to take into consideration houses on your block mm -hmm. also. Yeah, because I don't see any of my any houses that I recognize from my block on here. And I mean, if you came to they, my neighborhood, if you'd be able to say, if they wow, didn't okay. sell, you're not going to see them on there. Yeah, that that's true. Exactly. Too. That's it's a, true. that's a very valid point. I understand that, but I mean, but you so can't you, keep blaming everything on COVID. Well, I, I'm not. I'm not. It's not. I'm not. A full, it's not a full blame on COVID. I'm, my my argument here is that you guys are showing me pictures of houses that are outside the realm of my neighborhood. They're not like, well, well, they're, they're, they're the still considered within if they're in a half a mile radius of your same house, then they're still considered uh, uh, within an appraisal uh, uh, criteria. And, um, you know, like I said, if you guys took a ride up my block, I mean, you'd see the tremendous yeah, we, difference from these houses that were up for sale. You know, they were prepped. They, that's why they look the way they look. OK, they got prepped for sale. OK, and made made to look that good to get a higher amount of cash, okay? Now these house, houses next to my house, they're nowhere close to what you guys are presenting with I'll me. I'll take at. a drive down the street. You know what I mean? I'll take a drive down the street. Um, let me just take those back if I could. And, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I will drive down the street and take a peek at your house also. Um, and then what will happen is we'll deliberate as far as the board is concerned okay. and then uh, we'll send you a notice first week of april okay all right so we'll but we'll take into consideration everything that you've submitted uh and also shown us uh and also what the city has and then we'll see if we can come up with the correct figure okay all right sounds good thank, thank you for you coming for your in time. appreciate yes. it have a great day you too thank you very much Enjoy the beautiful weather. Oh, I take advantage of it. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, is they in like a layout, like a line? Yes. Well, yes. Hopefully that's just March. Hopefully it's not in <laughs> Exactly. Thanks so, again. Thanks. The, okay. okay. Good afternoon. Yes, Listen, you as the well. groundhog is always wrong, and he predicted six more weeks of winter. So we're gonna go with. I'm gonna give you a I'll take a little bit of yeah. good. Okay. Oh, that was just on camera. <laughs> so we got a these, bunch of. Yes, these five are all. Um, this gentleman this here. This gentleman here. Okay. So you can. What? Yeah, come what on up. You said five. I see. I had four on my schedule. How are you, sir? I don't have day that oh. I, uh, I gave out the other one. Yeah, take your oh, time. Okay. Have a seat. Yep. Oh. So are we correct that there's five? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Let me just look here. 
Um, I'm going to swear you in, but let me first ask you. Um, we've got five properties. Is there any particular order you want to discuss these in? No. no. All right. So what we'll do then, if it's okay with you, is we'll go with what's on the sheet. Um, so for the board and the assessor's purposes... What's 252 Dale Street? Somebody else? Yeah, okay. yeah 252 Dale is somebody else. Is that one in there? Nope. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yep. As Mike said, the I was trying to do the last one for lunch for you guys. I was happy to get me out. <laughs> no, we're keeping you here till 2. Uh, yeah, so they're in the order. We'll start with uh, 410 Kirkpatrick for board's purposes that'll be number seven okay so if you could raise your right hand state your name for the record Christopher James Tesco senior do you swear to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you God yes I do okay uh, okay so this is 410 Kirkpatrick Street it's like a landmark house on the north side right on the uh, corner of Steuben and uh, Kirkpatrick Okay, let me just, yeah, let me just read it in uh, with some numbers and stuff, and then I'll turn it over to you. Just want to make sure that we have uh, the correct information. All right, so I have a current uh, tentative assessed value of 28000 Is that correct? Uh, yeah, okay. That would work out to a market value of forty three thousand four eleven. Petitioner believes the fair market value is fifteen thousand uh, dollars. I'm sorry. Um, right. Is it fifteen thousand? Right. All right, because we got one hundred and fifty thousand here. So I want to clarify that. Just add another zero is all. Uh, okay, that's why that's all. What do we have for uh, assessed value on 15,000? 9,700 rounded. 9,700 rounded. Okay, and then I just want to flip, uh, see if I can pull a little information. All right, so you played uh, 13400 on March 8th of 2021. It was a cash deal. Who did you purchase that from? I don't know, it should be in there. It's a gentleman that got an auction from um, foreclosure like 13, 14 years ago from Syracuse. Okay, Stephen Brown? Yeah, Brown was Brown. Okay. And he never did anything to the house. I mean, literally. So he bought it from a. You guys auction. A, oh, the a county auction, yeah. and then didn't do much, and then no, you purchased you. it from him. Okay. Yeah. And and so what's? So I'm the, gonna be doing everything to it. Uh, what I've been. So I started with Burger. We went in no order, you know, but I, it doesn't matter. I started with Burger. Who's right Who's house. Burger? The house. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. And then I bought Bellevue, and this is the. Second to last home I bought, I believe. Bought neutral court as well. This is the last home I bought, and then I got injured. Um, well, I got injured six months after I bought this house. The um, what he did to this house is oh, yeah, <clears throat> he never, you know, we can only legally have three yeah. roofs on there. There's seven. Yeah, okay. like where the eaves are supposed to be, it's just run over now. There's like there's no defined lines. And there's so much roof in there, it broke the middle of the house. So it has to completely get stripped off, jack the middle of the house up. The foundation is falling in. Um, like I have a tenant and it's safe. It is safe. Um, I mean, I'll make sure it was safe. Um, it's really nice on the inside. It did a really good job on the inside. But I have to get it to where it's going to I'm going to dab that in the leaf for a week once I do the roof. And just to be safe. Um, I've already put 
I'm not really asking, I think I'm asking more of like for 485s on everything, something like that. Uh, okay, so that would be work that's already been done. Is that correct? Well, I got, okay. No, 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 no. This one definitely is the tax thing. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So I'm new to this. I would love to be Nemo one day, you know, took over Holly Street, biggest crack on the street there was, and make it a high end rental properties. That's nice. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a really good guy. Yeah. So, um, so on this one here, you've owned it. Um, you're currently leasing it. Yes. And, and what does the person pay in rent? Uh, I think it's $900,000. Yeah, $900,000, $700,000, something Okay. So we're going to say uh, $900 to $1,000 in yeah. rent. It, 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 um, my wife handles oh, me. Okay. So it's a residence. Uh, so it's a single family, is it? <laughs> okay. So 900 to to 1000 in rent. I'm assuming that tenant pays utilities? Yes. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> because of that, it's occupied. Um, you're saying that uh, the inside is in very good shape. And this is just recent, though. This is like last two months. I didn't have no tenants in there. None of these houses I had tenants in for a long time. He just was able to move in there. Okay. That's good. I'm glad for you for that. Uh, uh, so, generally, it needs a roof, a complete strip off, and some structural done. Uh, after that um, foundation okay but uh after that then it's in pretty good order inside and outside all the windows um the all the floors are on level right now so i use luxury vinyl to put down the floor flooring it's a kind of it'll go with me as i do everything um so we should be pretty good there and then um i've never asked for help i just found out there's a, a five thousand dollar grant i can get to help me win windows and doors so i'm putting all those applications in now Okay. Um, so hopefully that'll really help. Um, yeah, that'll that'll definitely. I mean, what help. I do is I've been giving to. Um, there's actually five people living in there, yeah, for that price. You know, there's five different individuals that you know are in there for that price. Oh, I, right, I, right. I give back to um, every person that lives in any one of my houses of low income, public assistance. You know, I'm giving. I've been giving back to the community. A lot of people help me along my ways. That's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm you're not gonna be Nemo, but um, I make them as I live in my employment myself. You know, every place I go is like a burger had four holes through it, and my house fell off the foundation. Um, and when you walk into it now, it's like it's a home. Okay, all right. So hold the burger thought for a minute. Anything uh, you have on this one here? I'm gonna submit comps to show that the house is fairly assessed, and that even if you look at nine hundred dollars a month. In rent, not the thousand. That's ten thousand eight hundred dollars a year mm -hmm. in rent. And to say that a house is only worth fifteen thousand dollars and you're getting, you know, over ten thousand dollars a year in rent, it, it just doesn't doesn't just jive. Sense. We think the property is fairly assessed as it is. Okay. That and again, that doesn't. So basically, what we do here is we take what mm -hmm. your information and the city's, and then we we come up with. Uh, what we think the property is worth. And if I went to go sell the house right now, I'm not going to get over fifteen thousand. I tell you that right now. Really? I already know. I know for a fact. It needs sixty-five thousand dollars of work. The foundation is done. Like I have it braced with metal rods. The roof. There is no roof. It's like you have seven layers of roof on it. So right now, it needs at least about well, forty-three thousand dollars worth of work. That I'm going to put into the house. I'm definitely going to put it into the house. I'm not going to. And the city actually proved me to. Um, I was going to leave it abandoned. I was going to make it a, um, a lottery redemption. But then I'll take away from the value of the, the neighborhood. You know, we're talking Stu Van, which this house I found out so far has been six, six dope houses. So this has been. It's, there's no drugs in the house now. I'm, no, no drugs. Every year that house has been raided or something else going on, drug infestation going on. It's clean now. The yard's mode. Sure. No, I'll that's good. That's good. I'm going to go back, but no. I want to give back. To, like I even took over one of the biggest drug houses on um, neutral court right now. Okay. No drugs in there. Well, that's very good. Um, okay. All right. I think we, uh, I don't think I put, uh, uh, said the land value is 5,600. Um, uh, 
and again, turn, uh, current tentative assessment, 28,000. Uh, okay, so. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to get around a little more. But if, you even look, if we put it out on Google Maps, if you say this house is worth $43,000, we have problems. All right, well. I'm, I'm, one second for a picture. Yep. I, I actually have a picture of it, but. Uh, no. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, okay. We'll take a look at that. I had, write, I had to write all this kinds of disclaimers for my insurance. If this happens, they won't cover it. This happens, so the house is not covered. I have insurance, but it's not covered. Right. Nothing. Yeah. So the house is not worth forty-three thousand dollars. It will be by the time I'm done. And when do you think that would be? Next year and a half. I think about a year and a half to whatever. Okay. But then won't subside even with the amount of rent that's coming in, sir. It's 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 never going to cover. It's going to take me at least. 13 years to get even with this home. And then after that, I'll start making my money. About 13 years. So you think you're going to have... The taxes uh, and the bills and everything else that goes on to the maintenance. It needs everything. It has the original furnace. Um, and then it does. It needs... The, if you're facing the house from Kerbadgic Street, the right side of the foundation has already had a, a, some good work, but the whole left side of Steuben, and there might have been a water brain break or something, I believe that, and National Grid now is coming in through, the National Grid is now room four of the houses that I have alone. They had to come in, they're putting the, the meters on the outside, they blasted through every one of my foundations and literally didn't care what they did and how they did it. I now have holes in four of my foundations from National Grid. Hmm. So, okay. All right, well, let's take a look at the aerial view and then we'll move on to the next property. I don't mind paying taxes. I'm going to pay taxes the next year. You know, so. Yes, no, appreciate that. We want to put the correct figure on it. Leaving out of system. So. I cut down most of this tree now. There's another way to go back. So this tree's not there. There's only one main branch I couldn't get down this year. Um, how do you go back here? Andrea was able to do it earlier. Oh, I think we should so drive. drive. Mm -hmm. so like there was on another day because I worked there. Though. I did drive them. My hair. Okay. on my desk. Okay. If you're not able to find it, that's okay. You definitely take your word for it as far as the uh, age of the roof, the number of layers, and the uh, foundation uh, yeah, it's, it's, issues. Yeah, it's on the tree. Okay. I'm like, if you have to it, show it. You can actually see. It's, 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 it's amazing how these people, I don't, I don't even know how they got it to work. Like, you know how like, you have like a little bit of, you know, the layers of the roofing like this, and then you put siding right there? There's no siding, it's roofing. We're rolling right over it. And I mean, from the back roof, we're talking a four foot drop, we're roofing. Yeah. Like, yeah. And again, Mr. Brown, who's agreeing? I mean, he, got it for, he bought it for $5,000 back in 13 years ago. I don't think he put a dime in it, but he let every drug dealer in the, in the city move in there. So, he did great. Wow. Thank you, right every month. Appreciate you cleaning it up. Let's move on to 121 Neutral Court then. Uh, Mine for 5000 Let me just read it uh, in some information. Um, so this is a uh, one-family house. Uh, current assessed value we have at 27000 Tentative. 41 8. Yes, I've got 41,860 as a market value. Um, petitioner believes that the fair market value is uh, uh, ten to fifteen thousand um, dollars. Did you want to pick one of those figures? Twelve five. Twelve five. Eight thousand one hundred dollars. Eight thousand one hundred assessed value. Can I ask you guys for some information? Yes. So, 
everything is going to be all my property values are going to go up to where you guys are saying without that i'm not going to argue that at all what do i do and how do i do it that um is this the right step but the lady downstairs was telling me like, like tell them about a 45 i don't know how to do a 45 i don't know what 45 is all right so whatever's going to work because you guys are going to see my face more like i'm, I'm going to be here how you guys doing i'll just show it and you guys will believe what i'm saying because it's important I believe in the honor system. It's really important to me. All right, and I'm going to show you everything I know about the houses. But I want to do the same thing. And I know when I get there, the, the money's going to be coming in. You know, so I don't mind paying taxes. I pay my taxes. You know, I'm not going to argue about something. But I have not had any. Like I, I didn't realize how much money was going out until I got disabled. Everything I had was on auto pay. Years, dude. I mean, like, was I stupid? Like I lost so much money by auto pay. It was unbelievable. Like everything. So well, let so, so so hold that wrong. okay so hold that thought for one minute and we'll get into the 45J scenario and or exemption scenario um, 274160 uh, you said 125 on the market value which is 8100 on the assessed value i'm just going to have you you had said 10 to 15000 and then 125 i'm just going to have you initial that yeah. if you would okay now um tom let's just go back to um uh kirkpatrick for a minute um, and let me first ask uh, um, the petitioner, uh, what kind of work, have, what is it, a year type thing? What, have you, what kind of work have you put into that property in the last year? In the last year, what I've done is I went through, I had um, uh, new electrical put in, um, plug switches and wires, um, on new luxury vinyl flooring through the inside, tub, shower, Toilet, bathroom vanity, lights, light switches in every room. I didn't have any. So, 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 based on all of that, what was the roughly the figure that was put in, and do you have proof of that? Oh, I got. I keep every receipt. Good, I got good. my tax write-off. Um, so far, what I put in the house, I bought it for the thirteen four, thirteen five, uh, with the receipts of that I showed my account, and I believe I've already put it in. Um, I think it's roughly around between twelve and fourteen thousand. Okay, so so, far. so I think he surpassed the figure that he has to put into the property. Um, so on this particular property, is he able to uh, submit an application for the four eighty five J or whatever we're talking about? Only if we raise the assessment because of the improvements. If we didn't raise the assessment because of the work he's done. And we don't know when people do work that they don't take out a permit. If he's doing the work himself, a lot of people don't take out permits. So we don't know unless they come in. I mean, he has done and and it only problem. and the four eighty five J only applies to if we increase the assessment. If we don't do anything with the assessment, they can't get the exemption. Okay. So Can you explain what it is and what the exemption is and what the rate what you're talking about? A 45J is an exemption that gives people a five-year uh, phases in the increase in the assessment over five years. It's 50% of the increase in the assessment. If we raise an assessment by 20,000, you don't need, have to pay on 10,000 of the increase. And then the other one, it's so it goes 40, in over five say, years. Say if you raise up by 20,000, you're saying the house is. Fifty-three thousand. I have to pay back seventy-three thousand. No, no. What he's saying is that if well, I guess my first question is: Were any of these properties uh, raised assessments? No. Okay. So, so none of them were raised assessments. So you're just you're. These so, are like newer acquired properties, and now like when I'm like. I couldn't even sell them for this right now. Okay, so that's what we have to work on. What what we're saying here is that you're not eligible for any 485J or any exemptions okay. because your assessed values were it's not increased. increased. Okay. okay. What's the kind of work in it that he says, and we review the assessment, then we'll give him. We'll just send him out the application 
to fill it out and all he has to do is just get it back in on time you know and we do that you know on every property that shows that there's been major improvements in it even if the assessment wasn't increased well no not not okay. if the assessment isn't increased we don't right so so yeah. none of the assessments have been increased no. on these properties so so yes. keep in mind for future yes. if for some reason there's an increase in assessment then you would qualify for the uh 485j okay. Okay. okay so what we have to work on is okay appropriate amount of uh, what what's the what what should the assessed value be so all uh, right can we do uh, time right sir time on um Kirkpatrick you, you know you're saying it's forty three thousand. is that the one around Kirkpatrick yeah no we, well, we, 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 we talked group. about Kirkpatrick yeah so so you said one thing he said another we have all the information okay. so now we're an independent board we'll make a decision on what we think it should be assessed for all right. so so we're fine on Kirkpatrick as far as information okay. as far as neutral court is concerned uh, we went through the numbers and now what we want to know is uh, is it rented how much is it rented for What's the condition, so on and so forth? Six hundred. And this is a single family. Yes, it is. Okay, six hundred dollars, and that's plus utilities. Yes. Okay. And what's the situation there? Uh, purchase it for five thousand. Um, it, it, it needs quite a bit of extensive work in there. Um, it's not a bad shape house. Like it's actually looks really nice on the outside. You know, generally it looks nice on the outside, um, but the inside was destroyed. And uh, to get it to the point where I was a gentleman living there, 600, was um, he's actually helping me with work. So by the time it's done, now, and there's no yard, like we, um, I don't know if I had to pull a permit for this or not, but I'm going to be digging out the backyard. And every house on the um, face of the house, every house on the left side is abandoned. Um, somebody, I tried buying the four unit next to it. Somebody bought it for nothing, and now he wants 26,000 won't let it go. But he, um, it's bad. That one's bad. There's a lot of riffraff that goes there. A lot of things are going on in that, that four unit. Um, so to have somebody move into this property, uh, a good person was um, a thief. Yeah, and this is it's a known. It was a known drug house. Um, numerous arrests right before I bought it um, from the gentleman that lived there. But, uh, now I got it, and, and I'm out. I'm there all the time. Making okay. sure things are good. Okay. All right. By the, by the time I'm done with it, I don't know what that um, the rest of the street goes for. I know Park Street it goes up and down. Uh, John Street went way down. Um, but uh, if I, any other house, I'll, I'll, that's the that's the street I like to be Nemo. That's a nice little block street. And if I could get more properties, I definitely would and start putting my efforts in there. It seems like you can have like get some more control. Yeah, kids playing and, and, Yeah. All right, let's move on to 1905 Bellevue Ave. This is my second home that I purchased. It's actually in really good shape. I painted the outside. It does need siding. It needs all new windows. Uh, the roof is like probably 14, 15 years old. I think it was like seven years before I bought it. Let me just read some numbers in. Um, Tom, did you give me information on... Uh, yeah, neutral. Um, I'm neutral. Yeah. This is neutral. Did you give me anything on uh, Park... Or I'm sorry, uh, Kirkpatrick. Yes. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Okay. Very good. You did. Um, all right. And you started on uh, Bellevue, but let me just read some numbers in. Um, we've got a current tentative assessment of fifty-seven thousand eight hundred dollars. which would equate to a market value of $89,612. Petitioner believes that the fair market value is 45500 which would be an equatable assessed value of $29,348. And let me just flip for a second here. So you paid twenty seven five on October thirty first of twenty eighteen. Um, 
we'll get into the condition. Um, it says here rent is eleven hundred dollars. Okay, and uh, that's uh, this is a one family. Yes. So you like one families? Uh, I'm just blessed to get these ones so far. So whatever came, I got them from auctions. You know, um, from the city. Uh, they're all like land, like. Right. They're in the abandoned house that was on the street that nobody went. I mean, somebody's like begging to please take it, and I found it. Do you do I you, want the house do you look for one too. families, or you'll no, buy twos, or yeah. yeah, okay. So it's eleven hundred plus utilities. Um, okay, pretty good rent. Uh, and uh, what have you done uh, or plan to do on this property, knowing that it's livable? Because somebody this one in the back of the house is falling off. The back of the house is falling off. Um, so I actually just took it the rest of the way off and um, You know there was a door that came off so I just run that across and um, Made it look really pretty by painting it uh, one day I'd like to be able to put the decks back on it uh, This was mm -hmm. a great shape so it didn't leak. You know, it was only a few years old um, It needs all the windows. I re-sanded the floors um, They're kind of thin but really nice and these new electrical the foundation floods from the house next door. I've been trying to um, Fix the drainage problem with that um, but then that house just got, <coughs> I, I, I was talking to a lady that owned it for a while and she never really said anything, but I didn't know she wasn't paying her mortgage. I even offered to put gutters on the side of her house so that it wouldn't go into my house and she wouldn't let me. So now it's for sale, and, um, but through a realtor company. So I don't know why I didn't go with like normal procedures. COVID did change a lot of things. like. Well, as far as this house is concerned, so she so got foreclosed on, so now... I would say it's, I, I wouldn't go down to the 27000 I, I didn't know forty five. I would say, it, like, right now, if I went to go sell that house, like, if I went to go sell it, I might be able to push for, like, fifty five. you know, and that's, like, somebody's going to want it for fifty five, but I wouldn't be able to sell for anything more than fifty five right now. Okay, so you so you think the property is worth fifty five? Yeah, not forty five. All right. Did that and think about it. No, I'm not gonna get 55 for the house on there. All right, I'm gonna uh, change that then. Uh, so we have some. Uh, I was having problems with this application. I didn't understand some of it. So when I brought it back in, the lady downstairs was really helpful. Okay, good. So I kind of did these numbers like right then quickly. Tom, what's uh, assessed value tentative on it's 55? Injury. Oh. Fifty-five thousand. Thirty-five five. Thirty-five five. We just want to be accurate. And if you could just initial at that check mark right there, um, that'll just uh, amend the application. What I was is the way everything is. The, the thing. I, I've never pulled loans for them. So it's like I'm working here to fix this and to rent it. To, you know, I'm sure there's some rents higher in the area, but to get to that point, you know, and then be able to make something from it. It's yep. Well, nice family to live you know. It's two moms, a husband, a, well, it's the wife's mom, the husband's mom, the daughter, her boyfriend. A really good family. They're nice. Good. The first one I did Section 8 to. Her name was Beatrice Davis. First Section 8 property. That's the second one I bought, first one I rented. And uh, I went all the way through it. I'm ready for the Section 8 you know, inspection. They don't care if it has just a storm window. It doesn't matter about the interior window. Like, really? But I went like on everything, you know, smoke detectors, paintings, did the floors. Yeah, one month she ripped my front steps off, stole everyone from the smoke detector, started calling code, said there was problems, flooded my basement. Yeah, let her, um, the cops were scared of her son. Her real name was Sean Ryder in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, a heck of an experience I went through. Literally, the cops tried to arrest me. They broke in the house with the van next door, stole the furnace. I'm walking up the driveway, the cops handcuffed me like I did. They know her son did it, but they're scared of her son, so they're trying to arrest me that day. <laughs> God yeah, bless you for being one. able to deal with a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you had a lawsuit. Oh, God. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Don't suggest no. that. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it was bad. Chuck. They didn't let me know because they were scared of the son, her son. They're from the east side, but they went to the west side. So I learned a lot of stuff from that family. <laughs> <laughs> 1905, right? 
1905 Bellevue. Now this is west of Gettys Street. Uh, yeah, um, it'd be west of Gettys and east of um, Velasco. 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 Yeah, because if you cross Velasco, oh my God, those houses are gorgeous. Like they just. All right, let me read the next one in 206 Arthur. You don't want anything oh. from me? I'm sorry. That, sir. I apologize. <laughs> you know, you know. No, I do respect you. Do my, you? My apologies. Uh, this is for 1905 Bellevue. Go ahead. The assessment was not increased or anything like that. It's, it's been been in place for for a number of years. Okay. Um, do recognize you paid 27 for it. The sales that I have. Um, are supportive of that number. Um, there's very little that sells even in that section of Bellevue. I'm going to stay down <laughs> for 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 the kind of money he's suggesting right now. The, the market ha has improved. There was a period of time he's buying properties. Right, I'm not finding anything any fault with the way he's buying. He's buying them low. He's getting good rents. You know, you can take a look at my comparable sales. There's support the number that we're, we're at. If you feel that there's something that should be taken into consideration, that's your call. Okay. All right, very good. We will move on then to 206 Arthur Street. Um, Again, we have a current tentative assessed value of $50,000, which would equate to a $77,519 market value. Uh, petitioner believes the fair market value is $45,000, and that would be a weightable assessed value of $29,025. Um, and if I could just look a little further. Okay, so on March 9th of 2020, um, you paid 37,127.30. Uh, looks like we've got rent coming in of uh, 1,100 a month. Yes. And, uh, that's plus utilities, and this is a two-family. Okay, this is a two-family. Okay, I've got it down as a residence. By the way, the land value of seventy-five hundred. Uh, I'll interject. Land value eighty-six hundred on uh, nineteen oh five Bellevue. I think I forgot to mention that um, eleven hundred a month now. Is this a one family or a two family? Two family. This is a two family. And is the eleven hundred the total rent? Yeah, yes. Between both apartments? Yes. So you're collecting roughly five fifty a piece then? Two family. Um and uh uh, just if you could tell us a little bit about this property. Number of bedrooms, number of baths, each apartment. Three bedrooms, one bath, each floor. Three bedroom, yeah, bedroom. one bath, each it's floor. Upstairs and downstairs. Seems um, pretty low rent. It has to be there for a while. What's until that? I, until I get done with it. Oh, okay. It'll be, um, if you go up the road, like every house is, I could have could bought like four or more. I just didn't have the money. They're all like fifteen, eighteen thousand. Um, 18000 I think they're still listed. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what problems with Arthur except for the summertime when the guns are there. Um, I like this house. It's nice stuff. There is a, um, a plot of land right next door to it. I was going to see um, when I got this house. What I'm going to do with this is um, the uh, uh, women and children from Salvage Army. I'm a peer advocate, so I, I work at 410 South Cross. So this house right here is supposed to be for women and children. Um, it should be ready in by the end of the summer, hopefully. Um, and they're so what I would like to do is uh, apply for the lot that's next door to it and then fence that in so it's the, um, the yard and playground for them. Um, so then this will house will make great rent um, because they'll be doing, you know, the rent increases for that. So um, it's, it's, it's a big, it's a big, big home. 
I put a new roof on it. Um, I just had a bunch of problems with violations. Um, and, I see that. But they should have been done. Right? Like, well, not the exterior. Like, I paid for rental registries. So every place has rental registry. So, you know, I got paid $150, which was really hard to uncover when nobody was paying rent for a while. And then you got paid them because that's when they really kicked them all in with during COVID. And so the gentleman comes over and he gave me this electrical deficiency because they have a glass globe over a light bulb. So, um, but everything he did that day, the very next day was taken care of. The only thing that wasn't taken care of was the outside. So we have had like six or seven um, code guys in this amount of time. And the last guy that I, so I call up and ask for another rental registry, this is all before these tickets came to the fines. I call up and some guy named Dan, I think his name was, he canceled, he didn't come, he calls me up and says, look, don't worry about it, everything's closed. And he goes, I, I go, well, the outside's not done. He goes, well, I already know, don't worry about it. I know about the injury. He goes, take care of it by the end of the summer, not a problem. Well, then all of a sudden, um, I really, and then the first was just my left side. And then my bicep got ripped off, my three muscles in my rotator cuff were done. Yeah. And I, didn't, I missed quite a bit of mail. And, uh, one, and I got the ticket, it changed to something else. Even though they had a record of my fiance calling up and saying, hey, everything's taken care of me. You know, asked for a new, new um, thing. I mean, they needed a, um, they condemned the house. I mean, it's like really pretty on the inside, but they condemned it. I had no idea why they condemned it. Because I, I would live in it myself. And um, and turned down his ticket and the, judge, the, the law judge was like, um, because I didn't get the mail and even though they said it was closed, but they went to take it, things doubled. Fine. So, yeah. yeah so, the, uh, uh, a paperwork just came in. I have to appeal his decision. He ended up finding me for everything, but letting them all go, waiving them, doubling two of them, which came up to three hundred dollars plus ten dollars. But he wouldn't let me talk anymore. Like I, I was like, I'm, like this should have never went to this point. He goes, "That's not our problem." I go, "But you just read to me, sir, that you have her voice now talking to the, this person, saying they're all closed." But you still give me tickets. Well, you didn't handle the ticket in time. There should never been a ticket. It was already here. Right here. So, all right. This is the first time this has ever happened on anything I have. This, this house, I don't know if it was like. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Um, because this is like supposed to be the most special of houses. Like when this all came through, I had uh, all these mobs are coming issues. over. There. Like people, Salvation Army's ready for this house. You know, I had, um, I had Catholic charities all over this house. Like they're ready for this one to be done. And then I got hurt. So it's like, I don't know. And then Coach was there. I'm calling up. I'm trying to do everything the way you're supposed to do it. And it's just like, I don't know. This house is weird. Let me. Who has this, Ed? Yeah. Okay. This property prior to. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Tysco uh, purchasing it sold in 2018 for sixty-seven thousand dollars. Mr. Tysco bought this property out of foreclosure. Foreclosure sales have no reflection on what the market will bear for this type of property. The area is improving. It's, it is getting better over there. A period of time between Velasco Road and Bellevue, it was going spiraling downhill. It is improving. We is it improving? I'm not, I'm not cutting you off, sir. I'm, I'm asking because I'm looking at it. It's know. improving. This it's I've got sales that support the, the the number that we have your, your property. So that's, I looked so at the 67000 They sold it one day before that. It was a husband to sold it to a wife for $67,000 and then went before closure. Well, he's got other th other comps, which we'll. I've got all that. kinds of comps. All right, cool. Uh, it's 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 there's sales on on West Onondaga Street, which is north of of uh, of, of uh, that property. That sold for fifty five and twenty one. It's slightly smaller. Um, as you go north towards which is essentially it's not skunk city but it's it's between you know it's yeah I'm, I'm aware, you're I'm familiar familiar. with onondaga yeah. uh, there's another one it's uh on onondaga that sold for and it's very similar in size 
sold last year for 85.5. Uh, there's a house on Rowland that sold in 2019 for 60,000. Uh, there's another house on Onondaga Street, slightly bigger, 200 square feet bigger, I'm sorry, sold for 100,000 in 2019. Uh, there's one on De Palma, sold for 85 in 2020. With Mr. Tysco spends the time, puts in the oh, well, puts in the effort to fix up the property. It's worth or worth way more than what he he and, and that as an investor, that's what you want to do: buy low, fix it up, and sell it high. The insurance company is only worth 330. I'm sorry. The insurance company is worth 330. Well, to report, we're talking to, about to a replacement rebuild. cost. I had, we don't, for, I had to insure for six hundred. Well, well that, that's, so the that's, insurance on this alone, I'm spending four thousand a year. Well, that's sure that's, that's the joys of being a landlord. Oh no, I understand. We've we've so listened saying, to we've listened to people well, come in yeah. it's, it's, who it's, had it's, a it's fire. Can I, I? I let you talk. Let me talk. Okay, please. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just yeah. stating facts. We had a gentleman come in earlier this year, not in this neighborhood, didn't carry insurance on his property. He quotes, accused his tenant of burning down the property. He did not have insurance on the property. That property is, is he, he doesn't have the means to fix it up. He's in a very bad spot. Insurance is an, an, uh, ultimately a, it's a necessity. And you know, I'm sorry that you're paying what you are in insurance. But you got to look at that. So here's this yeah. house that can be beautiful. It can be worse. Well, we asked we asked you for your income and expense statements for the past two to three years. You've not presented that to us. I haven't had it for two or three years. I've had it for a year. Uh, well, no, whatever. No, no, yeah. Okay, that's. That, but you, you haven't so provided us with taxes your taxes. I haven't done my taxes because uh, so well, this year's taxes and last year. Be done and I'll give you a I, I, it's it's the yeah, city's position that it, every, the assessment they, is fair. I have every penny of every that property. All right, let's move on to the next one then. Uh, it's like one of the most gorgeous houses. I love her, but it's just so much stuff. It's, it's weird with that one. You got it. All right, so this is 133 35 Burger Avenue. Yep, another foreclosure. Okay, this and is a new roof. All right, let me just read in some numbers here. This is a two family. Yes, sir. Uh, current uh, uh, tentative assessed value $35,000 with a land value of $5,400. That would equate to a market value. $54,264. Yep, $54,264. Okay. I think that's what it was. This one was. Um the reason, this is the newest one that was put on. I, had, I bought the paperwork on for the day, and then we were there, and then we went over everything. Um, I think why she left this one off is because we probably went through your office once. I think I was sitting in front of you before I had this one with a gentleman that um, it was my first time ever being here at this house. Um, with everything that I put in it, where is it right now? I think we're a little bit further. I went out of our group with that. That's why I didn't go through. So 28, five or whatever I wrote. You wrote 28. Uh, did you you want to leave that twenty eight figure? Leave where it is. Leave right where it is. So market no, value. I'm saying leave where it is. Oh, you're saying that you're okay with a thirty five thousand dollar assessed value. Yeah. All right. So let me just do a couple things here, just so we know we're on the same page. Um, we have a. Uh, uh, you just bear with me. You put down uh, twenty eight thousand for market value. That would be an assessed value of eighteen thousand sixty dollars. Eighteen thousand sixty dollars. And you're saying that it's okay. You're okay with an assessed value of thirty-five thousand, which means that the city thinks that your property is worth about fifty-five thousand. Oh no. Okay. And the whole street just sold for under twenty. Okay, so let's. Uh, that's why I clarify so, that. Yeah, 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 right. That's fine. So why don't we leave the numbers the way they are, and then let's go through. Uh, let me just flip through. Um, okay, and 
All right, so now just uh, to two families. So is it currently rented out? Yes. Okay, what are the rents? 600. Each apartment? Yes. Okay, so we got 1,200 total plus utilities? Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, what's the situation on Burger? 650. Sorry, 650. 650, both of them? Yes. Okay, so that's 1300 in total Sorry. income. Okay. Um, and uh, what have you done to this property? What's the situation? Um, new roof. The, um, I had to do the, the four holes had four holes there on the roof when I bought it. The house filled up in the basement, the water line broke, and it pushed the house off the foundation. So I had to um, use come alongs and chains all the way down the house and hold the, I went like this with the come alongs and I pushed the house back on the foundation. Pretty cool. It's the first time I ever did it. Um, did that. The porches needed to still be done. They're kind of leaning. I, I couldn't figure out why they were, so I jacked them up as much as I could already. Um, did a, a lot of work there. It never had a paint job. It was like this brown and yellow, but now it's blue and white. Um, but it needs it again. This is like the first well, property. Clearly, you do some work on your properties. Oh, yeah. Um, which is good. And you try to bring them back to a uh, uh, living situation. And so that's, you know, the city definitely appreciates that. I'm sure. I'm trying. Um, I really am. I just, um, I was actually supposed to be dead. I have a, I, that's my first house I bought. I was home for two years after 10 years in prison. I was diagnosed with stage four throat cancer. And when I came home, I started the rescue mission. That's why I get back to these people that run for me. Um, I came home with $38. And uh, a diagnosis for, for death. And I had two children. I didn't want to leave with anything. So I just worked and um, tried to build up as much as I possibly could for them. So this is the first house I bought. The second one I was able to rent. Um, the, 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 I see why nobody else bought it. Because by the time I'm done with it, I'm going to be so backwards that you'll never get the money back for the value of the house. You know? so it's like, and then you got people that you know can't pay over that rent because they're on public assistance and they're disabled. You know, so... Um, Who's your stage four cancer? I was diagnosed with it, yeah, but the the, the doctor that when I was in prison, um, he was actually slaughtering us. What what kind of cancer? Um, I have tumors all the way through my throat and tongue. Uh, I'm glad that you're feeling better. Um, who has this? I do. Okay. I, um, I don't think he's. It, I, I having difficulties hearing. But I, I think that you know the cops speak for themselves. Uh, it sounded like he wasn't objecting to the, uh, to the assessed value. Is that well? He he, because he, he thought that uh, the assessed value of thirty five was actually market oh the market. Value. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, there's I get sales there. Uh, um, you know, I mean, there the property is where it is. It's he's getting rents that are. You know, for that, from where for where that is, he's getting very good rent. Um, you know, it's the it's it's supportable. We're you know, you guys look at our comps and make your decision. Are you afraid of the price of the house? So that's what the uh, city is basing their um, assessed value on. And, uh, but again, do you, the, uh, do you have the sales that just happened on my street this year? Do I have that? It was, it was uh, like four or five, six, seven. Was it a two, was it a two family or a single two family? Two families and single family. I don't, I don't, well, I mean, we can try to do our best to compare, uh, comparable. That was one over 20. Well, and then we might not have thought though, that they were arm's length transactions and they would not be in our. It might have been foreclosure. It might have been foreclosure or land he banks. Didn't, he, didn't pay, he didn't pay his taxes but never went to foreclosure. So the black gentleman lived across the street from me on the whole street. And, well, there's uh, been houses taken down on the street this year that were in horrible condition. The, the neighborhood, again, is, I mean, throughout the city. Yeah, you can go. The market, is, the market has been strong, and things have been selling for more than what they had been five or six years ago. Start foreclosing on houses, and they won't be. I'm sorry. Start foreclosing on houses, and they won't be. 
Well, uh, that's that's a city. That's a city's. I, well, that's not our department's job. Was the houses available? I, I understand. I understand that. I'm not trying to. You know, I'll be bankrupt. Yeah. Let me just. Did you say start foreclosing on houses? They just didn't. They opened them up because they couldn't process them. They can't get you out of the house. That's why the houses market went up the way it did. This is what I do for a living, guys. I'm in the market. Like I'm trying to do this as best I can. There's no houses available. I. Well, I, me, I swear to God, I saved every penny I had. I had almost three hundred thousand dollars, right, ready to buy the riches, and things that were supposed to be fifty thousand went to one hundred and twenty thousand. I was like, "Well, top, we'll see problem. what the market will bear." I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's we we can't you know we can't control the market. We we our job is to reflect what's happening Correct. in the market. If and the market changes, we will will readdress it at that point in time. But right now things are still we're still Two looking at warning. sales that yeah. still looking at sales that we're we're dumbfounded by and yeah, we don't we don't not? we're not chasing sales we refuse to chase sales here in the city we try to reflect what the market will bear for our property that being said i just want to mention something i did not bring them in as comparable sales but in regards to your bellevue ave in your arthur street there's a two 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 families that were completely rehabbed on Bellevue in that stretch of the road, the both sold for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars each. So there's there, there's family. I'm sorry. Bellevue's a single family. No, those were two families that no, sold. One. Your your a house on on Art or uh, Arthur is a two family. Yeah, and it can be. I honestly think it'll be more valuable to do what I want to do with it because. Like I said, there's a, a house that was torn down. It gives me a nice access to a vacant lot that the city owns. And I would like to obtain that and turn it into Arthur and then literally give this. And once I'm done, once I know it's safe. Who, um, who the city owns it? I believe so. If this, well, this, you, should, you, should talk to, you should talk to either the land <coughs> bank or NBD about purchasing the property. That property, the... the, the, the you, I think you mentioned you bought a property from the land bank. No, no. Okay, I, um, but the land bank, the land, it, the, the properties that are taken for back taxes and things like that, typically are handed over to the land bank for to get them back on the tax rolls to to sell it. As you've seen, there have been several houses along Bellevue, along Arthur, that. You know, people yeah. for whatever reason they they lose the property. City takes it, and an investor like your comes yourself comes in, fixes them up, and and there's been lots of sales, even on your Arthur, for well north of a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, um, we're at time. I probably could. Have. Um, okay. I don't think I, I don't know if I'm explaining enough. I'm trying to introduce myself to you. I'm not asking for a permanent help with these. I'm asking for temporary help. To well, get but, to the level where we get the reassessment value and come back in and bring up the neighborhood to where it's supposed to be. I respect the woman that did the mission landing. She bought her apartment for double what it's supposed to be worth and fought to have the appraisal up to it. That's the type of person I am. I'm the type of person, once I get that property where I need to go, come on over, guys. Because this is what I just did in this neighborhood. You know, I'm, I'm building a cell phone store right now on the corner of West, Westmoreland Fayette. And I'm taking that troublesome store. And now I'm incorporating all the black guys. I'm, it's gonna, this is actually we're working out. They, they're so stupid. They're very fine gentlemen. But they're going to be handing out flyers for me in Lemoyne College and SU College to come to my cell phone store. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I've been teaching them, like, look, everybody can be a part of this family. There's no reason for this interracial fighting you guys are doing. I'm like the only white guy who can go up there and just laugh and joke and have fun right now. But I want everybody to do it. So the last month alone on the corner of Westmoreland Fayette, not, no one shooting, not one shooting. I haven't heard of not one robbery yet. You know, and this, this, this is different. I did the roof there when he first got it. I watched the murder happen right in front of me on the corner. Boof! So now I'm like interacting with these gentlemen, giving them opportunities. They're cleaning up the yard, they're doing the yard. This is what I'm doing. So I'm here asking for them to get appraised properly where they are now, to then come back and get a reappraised. That's what I'm doing. I'm not asking to keep these up. No, where they, I mean, our, our position is our value, the values are supportable by the. If you want people to walk through your properties and and get a, def, a better feel for it, you can certainly what we're, we w would be willing to work with you awesome. regarding that type of thing. Right. But 
you know, if you've got tenants in them and you're renting them out and you're making thirteen hundred dollars a month rent, that's on Burger Ave. That's 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 very good rent, very good rent. You know, I mean, and I think you're, you're a landlord. So you, I, I should run my folder in, so with Burger alone. Um, or maybe we can adjourn this. I took a lot of your time. If we can not even do a decision yet, I'll bring my folders in and show you all the receipts and the pictures, and I can take more time. I only had four days. Yeah, like oh, that's, that's you, uh, the board's going to have to make a decision based on what you presented. Well, you know, yeah, you but uh, but that's good that you have that stuff. And if we have to get into that next year, we certainly can do that. Excellent. Pleasure taking all your time. Enjoy okay. your day. Okay, you too. Thanks for coming in. I hope your health, good health returns to you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I need a complete anchor rebuild right now. It's only I can't get unless I'm retired or 62. I'm like, we just need to retire, folks. So I just found a doctor that will actually will and the kids that only last 10 to 15 years. I found a doctor that's willing to do it. He said, but he might not be able to get me to August. So my mind crush is offensive for me now. I can't use my anymore. Do you have a crew that works on your houses or is it just yourself? I'm sorry? Just run to the restroom. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So this is the one that had the death in the family. Okay. This one here was uh, non-hearing right. fever. Okay. You got it. Okay. okay. Good luck. Thank you. All right. And this one here is the one that the letter she had mailed in her application. So I sent her a letter with the date and time which was returned to us because she didn't give us an apartment said number. Okay. So... I had difficulties on this Which one? Any okay, so yep, can do that. I'm just gonna run the restroom if you don't mind. We've got three to read in. Yeah, just let it go right where you're at. You know. What's that? Nothing. I'll be right back. Time's up.
Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, that's not till the 27th. All right, so uh, uh, we don't need time, is that it? Yeah, he's, okay. I believe you've got what, two to read in? Uh, a three, three, actually. Okay. I don't know. All right. All right. Well, uh, well, uh, what two do you have, Ed? I have 308 Parish Lane. Yeah. Um, if you want to read it in. No, uh, no. I'll just give me the other one that you have. Oh, okay. Uh, in 2310 Midland Ave. All right. My question is, do we need to get time back? Uh, no. for 252 Dale Street there's there are no show uh, if he's got informational it would should be in the file okay fair enough I think no problem all right so uh, we're going to read uh, three in uh, different situations so um, 308 Paris Lane um, is there anything that you want to tell us about this the only thing I And, and this is because they wanted to come in, but there's a death in the family. All right. So I did call them back to see if they wanted to reschedule for another day, but I got hurt. So I wanted to bring it up to have it yep. read in in case that they did not call. Right. I'm going to read it in. Yep. Uh, I have some a feedback from I you. Got, I got some information for Okay. Uh, let's do that then. This is 308 Parish Lane. This is going to be number 12 on our list. Okay. You know, I knew this. I, I'm 99% sure I know these people. Um, I think I sold them a house uh, way back when. I saw Donna. I don't think it's this house, though, because Parish Lane doesn't sound familiar to me. However, when I saw David uh, and Donna, yeah, I, I definitely know these people. But anyway, um, so let's uh, read some numbers in here. So I have uh, a current tentative assessed value uh, okay, this must have been, yeah, they're writing, okay. They have 80 going to 92,000, um, and I have 92,000. All right, so let me just do that. Um, which, uh, so current tentative assessed value is 92,000. Do you have a land value on that, Ed? Land value is 17.4. Uh, 17, 17,400. I think I read all the land values in on those properties with the last gentleman, but we'll check the tape, I guess. Um, uh, that would be a market value of 142,636 dollars. Market value. Petitioner believes the fair market value is $86,000, which would be an equitable assessed value of $55,470. Uh, and I'll just flip over here. Uh, we just have the application. Uh, nothing uh, uh, jumps out from uh, informational purposes here. Yeah. This woman came in and I met her at, at the counter. We talked. She said, how could it be that you have my house assessed at $92,000 and my neighbor's house, which is directly across the street at 85 and it's the exact same house. It's got, you know, it's got a, uh, uh, it's same exact same square footage and I looked into it 
and the answer is we didn't have the property across the street classified properly we had it classified as a raised ranch as opposed to a ranch and when you start looking at comparable sales um, they should a ranch and a raised ranch should be similar in value um, but they they won't necessarily pull up the same kind of data because it's it's looking for ranches as opposed to raised ranches okay and you know I looked at I looked at the information and I I am gonna make and I'm gonna tell you that if you're gonna put something I've had discussion with one of the clerks downstairs because you're an independent board she doesn't want to see recommended on your decision things her thought is it looks it looks like you're not independent if you're writing down I said they have they can put write down whatever they can put down whatever number they want they don't have to they don't have to take our recommendations you guys are an independent board you're smart people you can come to your own conclusions I'm going to recommend that the assessment be reduced to 85,000 in fairness to the lady that to these people that came in and, and had a seven thousand uh, dollar above what her above what what they what what the exact same house across the street sold for and I'm trying to be fair and I think that's fair so you're recommending an eighty five thousand dollar assessed value right okay I don't really understand what you're saying as far as what she's saying or well she's just saying the house is exactly the same size they were built at the same time well, I understand that but what about a recommendation I don't understand she thinks that she, you write down on there that on the form that you're just you're being a you're, she gets the impression when she and I don't want to speak for her because I just had this discussion with her she she's a very nice lady and I, I'm not trying to say anything bad about anybody I work with sure she just says that it gives the wrong impression when well, you write down recommended you know, sure if you want to start it and you know is your indication so if somebody calls you you go oh well we talked to you know we we discovered things about the property that made the assessor rethink their thought process like we do all the time discover that there's an unfinished second floor and then so you you know that makes a difference it will possibly change what our, our valuation of that property might be sure so I'll reiterate that yes this we are an independent board uh, we take the information from the property owner we take the information from the city uh, and then we make our own decision with respect to what we think the property is worth based on that information that's all I ask yes and that information uh, that we know is common knowledge and sometimes I'll take a drive by a property um, and or an area if I'm not familiar or I want to get a little bit uh, more comfortable with uh, a potential decision uh, but yeah so I understand uh, no problem uh, we don't uh, uh, I know means our, our recommendations ever ever intended to be do this it's not oh, you guys are independent of course absolutely and if that's where you were going yes I reiterate again that our decision uh, we we uh, use the information but ultimately our decision is independent of uh, any recommendation from the city uh, and or assessors or uh, property owners or anybody else for that matter um, so that takes care of that if you wanted to do um, the one on the bottom to see what that is at okay and then we'll then we'll take a look at the other one okay so the next one uh, for our purposes is number 13 Um, this is the one that I had explained. Uh, she had mailed in the application 
are we now like hearing date and time back to the address that you wrote both on the uh, application as well as the return address on the envelope that she has in the back there. Um, that did not include a, an apartment number, so that was sent back to us unable to uh, unable to uh, deliver. So um, she probably has no idea that this hearing is happening right now. Uh, now she does live in Brooklyn. Well, she, there's a mailing she, address. In this Brooklyn. is the issue, Joe. She's applying for a star. She wants exemptions on the property. She's a military person. Is this who, Dale Street? No, no, no. no. This is Midland. Oh, sorry, let me let me read it in. Yep. Uh, sorry about that. Twenty three ten Midland Avenue. Uh, let me just read some information, and then uh, then we'll get into uh, uh, what exactly the situation is. Uh, it looks like a single-family home, current tenant of assessment of $18,000 with a land value of $7,000. That would be an equatable market value of $27,907. Uh, $27,907 market value. And then uh, the petitioner believes the Fair market value is $26,087, which would be an equatable assessed value of $16,826. Okay, now uh, the petitioner mailed in the application, uh, uh, Miss Lord. Yes. Uh, Okay, gotcha. And uh, that was received on January 30th. Um, and then you sent her a letter back saying that uh, you'd like her to come in uh, in person. Um, or that's standard yeah. for February 15th uh, this morning. Um, you're thinking possibly that she did not receive, well, she didn't receive yeah, the letter because it came back to yeah. you. And this envelope says that uh, return address unable to forward, um, and you think it's because no apartment number. Yeah. And that is the address that you have on the application, so as you well sent it to where you thought. That she sent it from the first time. Got it's it. The same that she Got it. Yep. So why do you think there's an apartment number? Um, if you Google that, it's a, an it's apartment, apartment building. building or, you know, type thing. I think the mail person may have recognized the name, but okay. Um, uh, okay, and. Uh, I think the last page of the application kind of has a description of what the situation is. Well, let's see. She paid 14000 on 12 27 of 2022, so it was a recent purchase. Um, I can appreciate um, why she maybe planned on not coming anyway, right, because she's in Brooklyn. Uh, and there is a letter here. Uh, okay. Um, okay. There's a letter here um, that uh, goes into some good detail and... Uh, uh, we will definitely read the letter and follow up on it. Um, and so let me just turn it over so, to Ed for yeah. a little further. So this is a land bank property. Okay. We don't consider land banks properties an indication of anything. Okay. Um, the property is not habitable. She has told the people that took the applications that she wants to get a veteran's exemption on the property you can't have a veteran's on property uh, exemption on a property that you do not occupy okay uh, that's what it boils down to she's not living there she 
she bought the property after the first of the year according to what you just read so uh, and and you know she so and, and we have not received a deed indicating that she's actually closed on the property okay uh, all right so uh, we will uh, read this over uh, probably ask a few more questions seems like it's pretty cut and dry but we'll uh, make ex a exemption denied for this year she if she fixes it up she she can come back next year if she's gonna live in it and, and apply yeah. for and she exemption. needed to be living there as of January 4th. right and she she didn't even purchase it until it didn't close on it if her information is correct until after January 1st and when you receive the deed can you put a copy in the file for us well it, it, that may not be until you might be done listening to the case before uh, before we receive it there's been problems with the county uh, website and it takes three to four months to receive a deed after it closes from really? the county website wow, wow. <laughs> and they're back right now because because of the computer off, problem right? right yep oh the the computer system or yeah. something the computers they got hacked and but oh, okay. it normally takes two to three months to receive a deed from from the county I, even though i can walk over in less than five minutes it's it's they have to process so that make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be that lines up with that property <laughs> So that they don't have a mess going down the road in the future. Understood. Do you have any paperwork you want to submit for that file? Again, it's an exemption issue. There's nothing. You know, she wasn't. You know, I mean, she challenged the assessment. You know, we're at 18. She wants 14. I and I. All right. Oh, that's fine. Do you want to stay here for Dale Street? I'll sit here. I just, that's fine. I I don't have any any input at all. Okay. keep your company if you do Joe I don't know if you still have the file the only one of the previous guy that you didn't give a land value you were wondering about that was the neutral court do you mind just grabbing the neutral court it's just a, a petty thing but petty thing. all right no uh, uh, sue thank you just want to have all we the keep them on his toes yeah. oh, that's we know you we know you're, 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 was, we know for, you're not for whatever sure. reason with that gentleman I was not reading the land values and I had to go back and what have you right in he was yeah, yeah. right yeah. exactly yeah. and I was like you know let me Project. read it in but then I was forgetting <laughs> sorry about that yeah so let's uh, so the land value is 6800 for 121 neutral court okay, that was easy. yeah no I want to get it right <laughs> thank you for that uh, okay so gonna read in 252 Dale Street um, uh, and then ask Michelle uh, a couple questions uh, this is gonna be I think number 14 for us yes okay And before I read this in, I just want to say this on the record, just my opinion. But, um, you know, as far as back taxes are concerned, I think the city just waits too long to uh, act on well, that's, these that... properties. And, and uh, you know, that's just, you know, I know there's extenuating circumstances and, and everything. Each situation has to be looked at individually, and I would want that and all that good stuff. However, uh, it comes to my attention from you know various uh, people that uh, you know something's been uh, back taxes for 15 years. I mean, that's just unacceptable. Uh, and I, I, we, it's the assessment has nothing to do. No, with I know that. It. It's, it's. I just wanted to state it out in the record because we department. were talking about it. And again, I understand there's extenuating circumstances, and I'm not trying to be mean uh, with respect to anybody. Right? You got to take each situation into consideration. But when something is uh, uh, back taxes for that long, I'm sorry, it's just hurting all the other homeowners in the city that pay that are paying their taxes. Unfortunately, and, uh, at some point you got to call in, it. in some circumstances it's your mom and dad that 
are limited, are living on you know social security and can't make ends meet. And, and that's and, fine. And At that's, that point, though, that you got to sell the house. Well, I agree with you, but they they're trying to be. They don't want to be accused of kicking your parents out of their house, and that's yeah. part of the the issue is that you know, they're trying. They're trying to, and they've in many of these cases they've they've entered into an agreement. You know, well, look, a tax trust, so right. be it. Yeah, and, and but, but then, that's got to. But then they and then and then they fail on that, and and so then it 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 you know I, I I'm not a part of that. I'm 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 in agreement with you, Joe. I think it should be done quicker. But you know, they're they're trying to treat it. They don't want the city doesn't want anybody. And I'm speaking only for myself. But my understanding is, and as you have more than on one occasion tried to be fair with people, the city's that's the city's approach also. And 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 you know, I mean, it's there's. I agree. You shouldn't be. We shouldn't be holding people's hands forever. Right. I also would like to say that from the banking experience in my past, I know that, and I can't speak for that this has any influence on it, but there's some properties that the city may not want. <laughs> understood, understood, but, uh, and I'm not even referencing those. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah, referencing just, stuff in good neighborhoods just, and. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it, just because you know it, it puts a burden on uh, uh, everybody uh, to a certain degree. And again, I understand. I it, and it wouldn't be a quick thing, but you know, uh, I'm not saying uh, one year behind, but you know, these ten and fifteen years where people are tens of thousands of dollars behind. They, they, I don't know how they came up with it, but they came up with a number and said we're not going to start foreclosure proceedings until they get to X, whatever that that X is. And, and I, you know, right. it's, they're letting people bury themselves. And I, you know. Right, right. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, so this property here, 252 Dale Street, um, let me just uh, read in a couple things that I do have a question or two for Michelle. Um, uh, this looks like a, a, a one-family residence ranch house based on the information on the application. Uh, current tentative assessment, uh, this was number 14, by the way, for us. Uh, uh, current tentative assessment of $66,000. Uh, this would be a uh, market value based on 66000 um, of 102,326, 102,326. Uh, the petitioner believes the fair market value is 90,000, which would be an equatable assessed value of $58,050. 58,050. Okay, um, the petitioner uh, paid eighty-eight thousand back in uh, October twenty-ninth of two thousand seven. Looks like he got a, a mortgage on the property. Uh, petitioner's name is Paul Vigiano. Um, so we have. A letter that will review uh, email from the petitioner to Michelle um, so we won't take the time now but we'll read through that letter uh, it appears that we have uh, a bunch of pictures uh, we have a lot of pictures um, of the property and the as the neighborhood Okay, pictures of his house in the neighborhood, which we will review. Um, the city assessor is Tom, um, so we'll see if he has, there's nothing in the file from him, so we'll see if he has some information uh, to add. 
And do you have any information to add on this? So um, this gentleman he mailed in um, his application. Uh, we received it, um, I believe it's stamped February 1st. Correct. Um, so he was set up with a time. I mailed him the letter. Um, he called in. He had a pre-scheduled trip. Um, and was not going to be available during any of the times that we were going to be meeting. Um, he was upset that the turnaround time was so quick between when he turned it in and when, um, when the meeting was scheduled. Well, let me say, let me say that I think that uh, you're saying this was received on February 1st? Yes. It's and a late filing. Right. The, the I think they have until the 31st. Correct. So we'll just note that, that yes. um, you know, you didn't necessarily have to accept the petition. Of course right. you would. Exactly. But it was... Uh, so I explained uh, to him how it worked. Um, told him, saying as though he wasn't, or that we could reschedule, but he was not available for any of the days because he would be so I told him if he could send me pictures and um, explain everything that we would include it as a non-hearing. Um, but that is all yeah. the information that I have. Okay. No, I think that's fine. I mean, normally on a no-show, uh, we would uh, consider uh, dismissing, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think that needs to be the case here. Um, uh, you know, he... Uh, uh, yeah, it was a late filing, but regardless, you know, we uh, we took it. So yeah, we take it, and uh, we've got a letter here with also with all the information like he was here, uh, and we've got a bunch of pictures. So I think that uh, we can take into consideration. Uh, uh, you know, we'll do our due diligence uh, uh, with respect to this file, and um, we'll see if Tom has any information. And as we normally do, we'll, we'll put it together and make a decision on what we feel the uh, appropriate assessed value should be. And then this petitioner will receive a notice first week of April. Um, so I think that takes care of Dale. Uh, and I went through the list. It appears that we went over everything. Okay. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting today. It's... Uh, and these meetings are running long, uh, 12, uh, 38, 39 p.m. Um, uh, I guess a uh, motion, uh, 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 so you second, okay. All uh, uh, in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Uh, opposed? Abstain? Okay, motion carries, meeting adjourned. That's your.